Okay. Hello and welcome, everybody, to the Roll Plus Bond 5th Anniversary Stream. Uh, I'm Happy Birthday, and I am joined today by... Who? Oh, are we doing, uh, like, it's... formal introductions? Or are we just saying names, pronouns? That's because I... What's the vibe? Wait, let me... Mm. I can pop... Ah, just, uh, you know, just your names and pronouns if you have them. It's because I balanced up all of the... Um... Well, I already talked. I'm oh. Devin. Uh, he, they. I'm next yeah. down. I'm Jenna. She, her. Delightful. I'm Sean. They, them. Or anything, really. And I'm Remus. Right. I use he, they pronouns. We might be ready to begin, then. Why? Alright. Right. Yeah. Right. Um... I don't know where I'm getting an echo from, and that's really weird. <laughs> is it hmm you have the stream up somewhere worse? i do but the stream's, stream's muted fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. do you have to open another place maybe it's like playing <laughs> playing it back somewhere hmm. nobody in the chat's talking about echo but everybody in the yeah. chat's talking about okay. quiet yeah. yes i'm trying to make us louder mm. Well, yeah. all right then. Okay. Hello and welcome, everybody, to the Roll Plus Bond 5th Anniversary Stream. Uh, I'm Happy Birthday, and I am joined today by... Who? Oh, are we doing, uh, like, it's... formal introductions, or are we just saying names, pronouns? That's because I... What's the vibe? Wait, let me... Mm. I can pop... Ah, just, uh, okay. you know, just your names and Should we talk? Should we vamp? Should we have something for you to mix to? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm wondering about what Probably. the uh, but wondering about what the volume situation is. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> well, I already talked. Uh, I'm Devin. Uh he It's day. okay. The just, worst uh, thing that could loudly. possibly happen I'm is next down. I'm Jenna. <laughs> not well, we can this, vamp. So we're fine. I'm Sean. We can keep making noises. It's one of our uh, it's one of our greatest skills as role players, I think. It's yeah. really going to come in handy in this game, in particular. Uh, meme true. meme man four twenty sixty nine one says, "What's up, gamers? What's up, gamer?" And I'm Remus. I use he they. Beautiful, incredible, incredible screen name. Incredible gaming happening tonight. Um, what? What? I'm very curious for the rest of the crew because I'm in PST, so it's like nine for me. This is like a normal hour what i'm also PhD. time is it for you i'm in california um, mm. cst so it's 11 p.m an echo from, and, that's really and i'm e e s t <laughs> so that's uh, 7 a.m for me oh that's kind of perfect honestly for real Whoa, more gamers in chat. The gamers are rising. It is 4 p.m. Damn. Me, and I still don't know where this echo is I coming from. The stream's oh, muted. And oh, coffee's also getting it too. Oh, no. I. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Have, I've been That's looking a bad sign. everything that I have open on my computer and do not know where it's coming yeah. from. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Mysterious. Is it. um... Is anyone else but Remus getting the echo? I know my headphones are usually really bad with echo, but I don't yeah, know if Coffee it's like said it would be they doing getting that. It I cannot too. hear it. Okay. Well, yeah. I'm not listening to the stream though. Okay. Oh uh, yeah. Hello and welcome everybody to the roll. Hmm. Hmm. I hate technology. Why is it like this? Yeah. <laughs> Anniversary Everyone hates technology. It's one of the. Uh, this is actually this is actually an interesting theme in the game that we're going to play. Hates technology, but it's in like the. Um, everyone hates Raymond font, you know. <laughs> okay. Oh, hold on, hold on. I can make this. I have the power. Mm -hmm. I might have fixed it. Maybe, if we're lucky. We should all be quiet so we can't tell for sure. Mm -hmm. 
If we just keep talking, eventually the chat will let us know. Yeah. Okay, I think it's... Well, depends on what's... I can't hear Depends on what the sound situation really is. Um... My next question for chat Shanna's is: introduction Are we background. loud enough? I also. Okay. Yeah. HB is louder than others. Okay. Oh. Hearing that I'm louder than the others. Um, I just remembered as well that my microphone hates me and decides to be stereo but only through one side so let me fix that as well but otherwise oh. i think we're good to go i think my microphone also does that sometimes huh and by sometimes i mean always so that might be a challenge that's a challenging aspect of mixing audio through my microphone but yeah i think there's a I think there's some real skeletal ghosts uh playing playing out out here so all right, let's take this from the top. You you know it, you love it. It's the Roll Plus Bond 5th anniversary stream. It happens annually, and this is the fifth one. My, how the time flies. <laughs> <laughs> Every it's year... It's kind of crazy we... that we've done five of these. Yeah. Honestly. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, I'm getting... Chat says there's still an echo. Oh, that's some people weird. are quiet, some people are loud. That could be stream delay. It's that go over the other four years. How would... Well, should we, should we power ahead and have uh, uh, us keep picking at it from the sides? Yeah, I think we... Uh, I think it's about as fixed as it's going to get. <laughs> Yeah. If the echo is really bad, chat, you have to let us know. Otherwise, it's entrapment. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> and also, I can't fully tell if I'm balanced to everyone else. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm getting a good, oh, getting a good no sign. Echo. There's no echo anymore, apparently. Yeah. Incredible. <laughs> yeah. You've done it. We're haunted. We're so haunted, baby. <laughs> This is the game to be haunted. So, if it reappears. Okay, getting good news. I'm hearing the good news. The good news are the echo has disappeared, which means that finally we are audible and we can uh, we can <laughs> we can keep doing the introduction. <laughs> five years, five streams. Each time, a, each time a worthy cause. How much money? Quite a bit. But you know, to get there, we're gonna need to. We're gonna need your help. It's the Roll Plus Bond fifth to fifth anniversary stream, and we are raising money for medical aid for Palestinians, and uh, that's through our Tiltify link. And we're also raising money for. Uh, we're also raising money for a national network of abortion funds, but that's through our. Uh, that's through our T-shirt sales. I think all those links are. Uh, I think all those links are in available places and might be reposted in the chat at a, at a, at a time of appropriate convenience. And so, today, to kind of kick off the stream, we're not just playing with audio issues. We're going to be, uh, we're going to be playing, uh, we're going to be playing a game, if you can believe that. And we are going to be playing, uh, Hieronymus by, uh, by Laurie O'Connell, uh, published by 12, uh, uh, by 12 Pins Press. And, you know, there's some other credits in there. But the game is Hieronymus, and we're going to be... Which is a hex crawl that takes place through uh, some 15th uh, some fifteenth and 16th century paintings that are, uh, that are renowned for their detail. In our case, the Garden of Earthly Delights. Today, I am joined by... Let's, let's hear it from the top again. Uh-oh, people are complaining about Echo again. No. Oh, it's gone. oscillating. I don't know how far behind that is, huh? Oh, some people are saying it's stream delay. Coffee is saying it's stream delay. Yeah. Yeah, the, the stream delay is um real. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Um. Okay. But no, it should be. Quiet. Well, should well, we keep talking to have a reference point to fix it? Maybe. 
<laughs> keep vamping, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, we should yeah. we should just the keep doing the introductions. Keep going. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's keep going. Happy birthday! Introduce yourself. Oh right, that's me. I'm happy birthday. Also known as HB. My pronouns are they them, and that's all you need to know about me for now. I'm Devin. I also I use he they. I'm Jenna. I use she her. Ah, that's me. I'm Remus. I'm Jean, I use he they. Annie. Ah. That's fine. Where's Sean? Oh, yeah, I'll go again. Sean, say Annie. Glorious. But yeah, uh, today we're playing uh, Today we're playing Hieronymus, as we said, which is kind of a hex crawl, where we're going to be playing uh, some key figures from, uh, from the 1500s who are transported into the world of uh, Hieronymus Bose's uh, famous painting, The Garden of Earthly Delights. And we're going to be encountering some... Uh, we're going to be encountering some uh, funny little guys in there. We're going to be encountering some horrors. We're going to be experiencing the... Uh, quite troubling and... Pro the quite troubling and problematic philosophical quandaries that plagued people in the 1500s. Like the printing press. Everybody hated that. Or like the orb, you know? Like the everybody orb. Everybody was worried about everybody get caught in the orb, you know? Yeah, like a little guy mm -hmm. looking at you from a pineapple. That kind of thing. Yeah, that would just happen to you. Yep. You could you couldn't do anything about it, and that's the sort of that's the sort of emotional milieu that we that we are kind of playing in in this sort of uh, in this sort of system. Now you're going to be playing a selection of figures that are moving through the sex crawl. Can I uh, can I get a, a quick introduction of them as well? Should we go in same order? Yeah, why not? Okay. Uh. uh... I'm going to be playing the artisan. Uh, my character's name is Ziggy or Saint Ziggy. They use they, them pronouns. They're kind of like a Jesus, sort of, or like an accidental Jesus. They were a really good carpenter, and they were really good at listening to people's problems. Um, and, you know, they had a lot of things to say. And sometimes if they drank too much, they had a lot to say about, you know, the state and, you know, the, the, the systems that be. Um, and uh, uh, they got taken for a messiah, and that worked out for a little bit and turns out that's kind of a bad thing to get into if you're not really to commit so <laughs> hopefully getting trapped in this painting is gonna be a better better vibe yeah yeah everyone's always saying that being trapped in a painting is a way better vibe than being a uh, um almost a prophet mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um <laughs> you're, I'm like going to be... you're trapped in the painting <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm going to be playing uh, Narcissa. I'm going to be playing Sister uh, Sister K Narcissa. Um, I am a priest. I'm a Catholic priest. Uh, I'm not a priest. Sorry, I'm a nun. Uh, but the the class is priest. Um, I'm a nun. I am super duper God fearing. Shout out to the J man. Shout out to God. I love getting she would never say this but she's in it for the money she's in it for indulgences she's here to turn a profit and she got trapped in a painting on accident so we'll, you know we'll see how it goes um yeah, sounds maybe the saint guy is up to some cool stuff or, or profit maybe eh, we'll see <laughs> you're some people are in it for the fun some people are in it for the profit mm -hmm, mm -hmm. some people are in it for the good times in the community and Sister you know, Narcissa? Hand. Yeah. Profit. Absolutely a lot of profit to play. So yeah. Uh, next up, Remus, who do you have? Yeah, I'm playing the Alchemist class uh, playbook, and I am Fabian Devereaux. Um, he's um, from, like, a family of alchemists that have devoted their life into making gold out of dirt. You can make a lot of gold, you can figure that one out. Yeah. <laughs> Every make problem gold out of dirt all the time. can be it's called solved. Mining. Every problem can be solved with money, okay? <laughs> that would That's be right. a real revolution yeah. for the, the lower class, too. 
Yeah. Good stuff. And finally, Sean. Yeah. Um, I'm playing a scoundrel, uh, Wilmot Wiley, uh, who started off as like a criminal convenience, uh, then a thief by trade. Then she landed a like golden opportunity to live in luxury by assuming the identity of a noble, uh, Sirle of Canterbury, which hopefully that's what you all know me as, Sirla. Um, kind of like a, a moderate noble. And then I got trapped in this painting while assuming her identity. We'll see how that goes for me. Maybe I can make this grip last as long as possible. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> All right. Now, now that we've introduced ourselves, I, of course, am going to be playing the... Uh, I, of, I, of course, am going to be playing everything and everyone else. And I will also be playing a little thing that's called The Follower. Now, what is the follower, you may ask? Well, I'm glad you I'm glad you asked or didn't ask, because I'm going to answer it anyway. Because the follower is quite critical. Uh, the follower is an astral pursuer that's going to eventually catch up with you and uh, bring the full weight of this new and exciting time upon you. That's probably not good for him. That's probably not good for most of you. Change is scary and also sometimes fatal. You know, the Black Death that was a that was kind of a that was a period of great change. Didn't end well for many people. It's that kind of thing. And you are in a... And you awaken in a particular place. See where this little E is on the map on the very left side? I'd like you to zoom in on that a little bit. Get a bit closer. Because hmm. we're going to be examining this painting very closely. Because you might also notice that it has a lot of... Uh, that has a lot of beautiful. Uh, this this painting rather famously has a lot of beautiful detail, and each hex will be exper will be exploring a little bit of this little uh, little bit of this. Uh, it's not a little painting; it's a very large painting, actually. So, get in a bit closer, and then we'll begin. So, right around where right around where the E is. You'll see that there is. Uh, you'll see that there is a uh, nameless little, possibly orange tree, and underneath it there is a truly placid, if slightly wet and dewy, sort of uh, bit of grass, and that is where all of you wake up after an uncertain amount of time has passed. You do not necessarily know how you got here, but you do know that uh, this is not really a great place to be. Not least of all because of uh, uh, the plants look unfamiliar, the animals doubly so. There are there's strange architecture all around you. There are landmarks that neither of you, that none of you can really place, and uh, lots of things are, lots of things are making a lot of suspicious noises. You are you have awakened in a in a vibrant if uh, you've awakened in a vibrant and strange and alien place. None of you have ever been here before. You don't you don't know what any of this is unless it's like a bird or something. You probably know what a bird is. Do we know each other? Uh, I mean, I think each of you have some idea of who the other is, but mostly in that sort of like, uh, mostly in that sort of like, I know what type of person this is. Mm -hmm. Like, you'd be able to recognize that one of you is the alchemist or that one of you is the artisan. But you would not necessarily know much more than that. In fact... Let's say that there's let's say that there's one or two details about each of you that uh, the others know this. What would those be? Should we go in in order again? Mm, go as the spirit moves you, as the uh, as certain <laughs> religious sects say. <laughs> Great. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I think that the other people would notice that. I have a lot of I have a lot of shit for a nun for a for a uh just a random looking nun. I've got a big old purse of coins. I've got a bunch of stuff stashed in my um my big sleeves. I've got like the classic nun hat thing on, looking very put together and yet very out of place for a nun. And also in a Hieronymus Bosch painting, so very out of place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you look like a nun who's chosen to the option to take the money and run. Yes. <laughs> Great juxtaposition. Who's next? You're the <laughs> one who wakes up first, I think. That is like, uh, 
<laughs> you sit up in this little, uh, you sit up underneath this orange tree and realize the strangeness of the place you're in. Next to the orb tree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The tree has little uh, orange orbs in it. You might call them oranges? But they could be some mm -hmm. other fruit. Maybe oranges haven't been invented yet. Maybe these are like, uh, maybe these are pomelos or something. I think the thing uh... that the others would know about Fabian, um, I think, are we like from the same place? Uh, broadly, yes. I think yeah. you, I think you all speak the same language. Let's say you're from, uh, well, not the Netherlands exactly, but you know, the ne Netherlands doesn't really exist at this point. I don't think. <laughs> yeah, are we but, from like you know, it's... sort of scope of like we're from the same country, but not necessarily the same like city or town. Somewhere in Central Europe. Yeah. yeah. You're vaguely Central European. National okay. identity has not really emerged as a thing yet. Yeah. Because I was going to say that Pavian's family might have a bit of a claim, but probably not, like, largely outside of the area that they're from. Okay. okay. Come back to me. I'll do How some... does this reflect in your appearance? Yeah, I guess... Um, I think Fabian probably has, like, big glasses, um that make his eyes look very big um and like but like um i'm trying to think of like what glasses were like in medieval time because most of them were small these are probably more like goggles mm -hmm. yeah they're like little um, uh, it could be, it could be like a little pince nez or something yeah, and just, like, sort of looks a bit crazed. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you awaken too. <laughs> <laughs> Your eyes open and you look around. This is a weird place. This is a weird place. It's a vibrant land of mystery and danger. You see some unicorns in the distance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who's next? Uh, you notice that Zicky has long, beautiful hair and a long, beautiful beard. Um, they're mostly shirtless, but they're wearing like an apron that has like a tool belt on it. And they got like a level, they got like a small knife. They got like a little, a little vial of glue. Um, Cause they're a carpenter. Hmm. Wonderful. All right. Uh, I think for is, me would rulers be allowed by the church? Is that is that too high tech? No, a ruler is fine. You can have one if you want. So it's like you know, it's it's trying to tell you truth, and you know, only God and the church should tell you truth. It depends on which church you're asking, because I'll take the ruler if you let me. <laughs> Probably good at whipping people with it. Yeah, that's all rulers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sean, what do we notice yeah. about uh, Lulmud? Uh, yeah, you notice um, just like really, really fan like fancy dress and jewelry, uh, and then how they how she scowls and like checks. That she has all her belongings immediately after waking up last. <laughs> I mean, like, better not took my shit. Uh... Yeah. From a long distance, your eyes meet with the uh, the freaky little guy sitting in the center of the spire across a, <laughs> across a small lake. Yeah. The freaky little guy gives you an empty eye, the patu like glare. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Are we talking about the freaky little guy in in the pink thing? In the contraption? Yeah, in the pink thing. Yeah. Okay. So I feel like the pink thing itself could be interpreted as a freaky little guy. Yeah. You seem to be in a place of peace, but there's an air of unspeakable danger in the air. 
You smell a change. You don't think you like it. What do you do? Nice. I look around nice at my... Stand, but dust herself okay. off and is like, we gotta get out of here. This is bad. I don't like it here. And this is... I'm... I don't like the man staring at us. Well, sister, what do you propose? Leaving. I just said we're leaving. I don't know how, but we are. What, um, what does it look like to our left? Uh, to your, it's, it's interesting. I think you look to your left and you realize you're actually looking to your right. Oh, uh, it's, it's <laughs> like, uh, I think you, I think you look in that direction and you look at a whole lot of, uh, I don't know how to describe it precisely. There's like, there's like water there. There's like trees there. There's, uh, more birds. In fact, there's a lot more birds than you'd think. It's like uh, the birds just kind of start crowding out everything else. The longer you look at it and you nervously look away, it's, it, it's not good to look at it for long. Out in the edge, there's only birds. You don't want to. You don't want to be there. Nobody wants to be there. I go down and inspect the shore of the pond. Oh, well, great news! It is. It is indeed a pond. You surmise that it is full of water. Mm. It is also full of birds. The birds, uh, uh, the little ducks. Ibises, that kind of thing. I think, uh, I guess not an ibis. An ibis is pretty big, isn't it? But, it could be you know, tiny like, ibises. Yeah, let's say, that, let's say that's the case. They're, it's a world of infinite possibility. It's a it's world of infinite did. possibility. And also of questionable proportion. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, do, do I, does, my, does my hair look good? Does my beard look good? Uh, I think you look in the, I think you look in the water and you see, uh, and you see not quite yourself looking back at you. Oh. You see Who do a I see? Uh, you see a clean shaven uh, you see a clean shaven man with like completely flawless skin like a kind of uh, like what kind of well combed hair of uh, looking uh, looking I guess a little more Italian than you do. <laughs> I look to Narcissa. I'm like, you're correct. We should leave. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of, uh, it's like it's like you look in the it's like you look in the water and there's a sort of, uh, and you see a sort of like, it's like somebody did a reinterpretation of you that looks just a little bit more, uh, just a little bit more adapted to a different aesthetic sensibility than what you're familiar with. Hmm. That's unsettling. <laughs> it genuinely is. <laughs> it's, like, it's like you're looking at fan art of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, but okay, but what happens when I also go look in the water? I mean, uh, you're the one named Narcissa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, true. I have a saint name. There's a saint who's named, like, Narcissa. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think you look in the water and you see, uh, and you see yourself with, uh, interestingly, you know, like, less money on you. Visibly less money on you. Ba barely any money on you actually you have like uh, you look like the perfect picture of a uh, you look like the perfect picture of a nun you look solemn you look uh, sinless wow <laughs> we need you to look go immaculate as you look back at yourself you've never looked more holy than right now okay well I'm, I'm very uncomfortable it, so now get me out of here let's go there's it looks like there's four directions for us to go. Imagining if we were in a hex-like shape, there are four directions for us to go. Yeah. Yeah. Three of those directions are water. And I don't like the water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is, uh, there isn't like a boat nearby or anything like that, but some of the water does look maybe, you know, maybe shallow enough to ford. It's, it's hard to tell. The vibes on this water, maybe not optimal. I mean, there's giant plants everywhere, and this man seems to have a hammer. You, could you make us a boat? Make um, us a boat. Oh, we don't want to 
go south and see this man down here who seems to be a, a, a copy in my style. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> One of you is enough already. <laughs> Uh, I mean, is there, like, trees that we could even, like, turn into a boat? Well, I'm very glad you asked. There are. There are quite a few trees around, but they look small. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Orb trees. Yeah. I mean, there's the orb tree. There's, like, a little tree that has, uh... There's, like, a little tree that has fruit that look like human eyes. There's, like, uh... I'm sorry, what? There's, like, a tree that seems to be somehow... Mm. (sighs) Uh, human eyes. It's like uh, it has really pretty flowers that look like eyes that are looking at you. Which oh, tr- there's so the, much like, in this. There's painting. like a horizon in the middle. Mm-hmm. There's like a horizon in the middle of the forest below the pond. That perspective is messing with me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. It's like downhill. No. Oh, yeah, God. I think, I think the longer you look at the trees, the longer you see. The, the more you see that maybe the uh, maybe there's a lot more forest than you than you thought. Well, I I look at uh, uh 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 I look at Wilmot, and I I gesture at the tree and then gesture at my tool belt. I'd love to help, but I don't think I have the right tools of the trade. Well, Dramatic we could always uh, talk to the people nearby. Maybe they have tools. Maybe they know where we are. Squints, they don't look like the tool type. (laughs) That is a good point. They might know where we are. Are we just like peeking at them through the trees? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) They're just kind of hanging out on the edge of the forest in like a in like a nice little bluff, like perfect picnicking position. But they don't have any like food or like any blanket or anything like that. I guess I guess the guy is technically like wearing a like wearing a robe. That could be an adequate picnic blanket, but he doesn't seem to be laying it down or anything. Are they normal sized or very (laughs) big? I okay. mean, what what is a normal size for a man? Well, yeah, you can fit four of us in one hex, but you can't fit any of them in one hex. Well, that's because they're closer. It's perspective. Ah, I see. Uh-huh. I see. I see. You would also be you would also be so humongous if you went up there. <laughs> whether whether that's an experience you want to welcome, that's up to you. Let's go talk to them, and there's little guys over there. There's some Let's little go. guys. Let's do it. Oh, there's a lot of little guys, actually. Some rabbits? Like, some rabbits like frolicking? Words. Two-headed birds? A Let's cat? Yeah. Oh yeah, cat carrying a lizard a away. Seal? That kind of a seal? A really small whale? <laughs> a unicorn mermaid? Well, yeah, like a seahorse. Yeah. It was like the first first guy that like washed up out of the ocean. <laughs> yeah, I'd be getting doing begin that walking. forever. <laughs> we have to go see them. We need yeah. to. Yeah, maybe that's what they're I'm doing. Moving. Maybe they're watching the whole thing unfold over there. It's like a little microcosm of uh, freaky little guys eating each other. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you approach. Presumably, uh, how cautiously do you approach? I guess is my question. I'm down to walk right up to them. Yeah, not as cautiously as maybe we should. Yeah, I think I think none of them notice you, despite the fact that you just blunder right up to them. I think they're transfixed by the spectacle of the uh, by the spectacle of all the little creatures. I think you. I think uh, I think the woman claps her hands and is like, uh, and and there's a cherry little laugh at all these little creatures who are frolicking over there. Watching that bird eat a frog. Yeah. I think she gets a particular kick out of that. Uh, the little guy is nodding sagely at uh, is nodding sagely at the seahorse. He's seen that before in a book. <laughs> <laughs> and I think the old man is uh, and I think the old man is explaining something to the young man, but you've you've caught him mid explanation and you can't understand what it is. Oh, is this man old? Uh well, I mean Maybe comparatively hundreds, you know, like fifty or something. <laughs> yeah, like thirty. <laughs> no, no, people didn't die that early for the most part. 
People actually live oh. a very long time. The birth rates yeah, are the because of all the babies. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. That's um, one of the reasons I, I got in trouble for maybe being a messiah is that like I, I'm like 33, but I have like amnesia for, you know, everything 30 <laughs> and under. <laughs> you just came into being like this somehow. Yeah. Born sexy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That is that it's is true. a crime in the 1500s. <laughs> that yeah. Mm -hmm. I think, I think um, Sister Narcissa is just going to like wave both of her hands in the air as as she approaches. And she's like, "Hello, hello, hello. Where are we? Where, where is this?" <laughs> the old man just uh, uh, the other two don't turn around at all, but the old man does, and he's like, "Oh, mm hmm." Oh, I see. A woman of God. Yes. Hello. Are you are you also Oh, I should have um looked up things that religious people say before <laughs> the stream. Are you also just, with God? Yeah, just say and also with you, and that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. also with you. Oh wonderful. You know the you know the customary greeting. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the garden. Are you having a picnic? I have some fruit and nuts that I can share. Oh, I'd love some. I pull uh, uh, some like trail mix out of my pocket. <laughs> that is oh. one of my items on my sheet. Is uh, oh, a it is full of nuts yeah. and fruit. Mm -hmm. uh, he kneels down to your hand and like starts eating out of it, like a like, <laughs> like, a, like an animal. Oh <laughs> <laughs> like he just consumes the entire handful. Almost oh, bites geez. one of your fingers off. Take one stress. <laughs> oh boy. Um, the man is in this you. place. Thank you. Do I no longer have a handful of nuts and fruit now? No, and be grateful that you haven't lost anything else. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sister Narcissa Jesus. takes one step back and says, uh, what, what garden are we in, brother? Oh, you're in the garden of, uh, you're in the garden of, dare I say it, earthly delights. How delightful. This doesn't look I'm like an earth I know. On my apron. <laughs> well, it's not a garden of delightful. earth, it's the garden of earthly delights. Trust me, I've been here a long time. I would know. How I, like, long? look at his style and then look at my style kind of curiously, like, oh, where did you originally come from? That's, that's not a question worth asking. The question is where you are, and where you will be. What have you done while you were here so we don't do it? <laughs> well, a, a smarter question than you may know. Well, while I've been here, I've acquired two beautiful children, and he points at uh, he points at the uh, he points at the go he points at the young woman and the young man next to him. You've acquired them. Yes, I've acquired them. How did I you know acquire what I said. them? Hmm? How did you acquire them? You don't acquire children. That's not how children work. I, I do. I, I believe I. Uh, I believe I did acquire them. In fact, very well. Like, and what would you? Up straight. And what, what would you, as a woman of God, know about acquiring children? I, I would suggest not questioning my authority on this matter. <laughs> Are you a man of the cloth? Mm, not of the cloth. A cloth, I would say. Which cloth? Ah, well. It's a it's a sort of cloth that I like to call a... Uh, sort of cloth that I like to call the... Uh, mm, no, I just, thought of, I just thought of what I was going to say and it doesn't really work. Anyway, I am a man of... I am a man of intense learning. Fascinating. A worldly Wait. man, you could say. If if you're a man of intense learning, what would you say is the most prudent thing you have learned here? Ah, <laughs> I have learned how to command the creatures of the garden. What? Those? Yes, mm -hmm. all of them. What's the Point one the with three heads? All of them. Oh, the one with three heads? That's a bird. Have you never seen the bird before? Why are the feet in front of the wings? What do you mean, why? 
that's where the wings go on that particular kind of bird. You might as well ask why it has such a long tail or a little uh, or a little fascinator at the end of it. Or three heads. Or three heads. Maybe I would ask about the three heads. I don't know. I have only I have only three words for you that will answer all of your questions. Nature is amazing. That's true. Can I try to make a roll? <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> what do you, you want to do? Um, I pull some wood out of my pocket, um, and I want to carve a little bird. I want to I want to model one of these birds to give to it as a gift to one of the children, or to both the children, I guess. Oh, incredible! Yeah, I think um, yeah, that's gonna be a tinker roll. So, what is your what is your goal with this? Oh, I okay. I guess actually this this this, this depends. My ability says you can tinker to produce any small object or craft. You do not need to roll unless the object would be exceptionally hard to make. Maybe carving a little bird out of wood is pretty hard, right? Uh, I mean, it would not be necessarily exceptionally hard to make. I'm just going to, I guess the question is just what what are you hoping to achieve by giving the uh, figurine to this to this uh, person? You know, it, they everybody seems so transfixed by these creatures. I wanted to, you know, give them a little gift. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. In that case, uh, which one do you give it to? Uh, I gave it to the 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 girl because you described her being like transfixed by the bird. So I like make make a bird that looks like the the one that she was looking at. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think weird, you give... like flat one. <laughs> this flat fuck by her feet. <laughs> <laughs> this flat fuck Friday in the Grand Garden of Earthly Delights <laughs> with the inexplicable like hummingbird mouth. Yeah, proboscis. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you uh I think you give a I think you give it to her and she like I think you put it in front of her face because otherwise she doesn't really register it. But I think but I think her eyes like immediately focus on it and she takes it in her hands and is like uh, and looks to you and says, "Thank you." And then she says, "Thank you." You see like from the corner of her mouth like uh, a little silverfish crawls out of her mouth and just kind of uh, crawls along uh, crawls along her neck into her hair. Are there more in her hair? Hmm. Uh, now that you look at it, yeah. <laughs> also, other stuff. Uh, the way it kind of the way it kind of shines in the sunlight of this place, though you can't see any sun. Uh, there is uh, you you realize that there's a lot of silverfish in her hair. Huh. And, but you don't get to appreciate this for very long. I think she, I think she stands. Why up and she takes has a, no clothes? Step forward. <laughs> and takes a step toward you and it. says, "Thank you. We're married now." Um, um. Uh, actually, I already have a a a, a partner back home. I you I do? appreciate the. I'm, well, I'm flattered. Uh, I'm I'm quite flattered, but. She looks to uh, she looks to her father and uh, and, her, and, her, and her father looks to her and says, "Now, nah, now, nah, don't bother the poor man. We'll find you somebody to marry soon." <laughs> what? What? Hmm? Where did yes, you yeah. learn to command animals? <laughs> Where did I learn to command animals, or how did I learn to command animals? Both. Can you teach Any us? questions mm. with a straight answer would be incredible. Well, I learned to command animals from the tree man. The what? The, the what? The tree man. He's a he's a nice fellow. It's just it just takes a little while to find him. Okay. Is he like a wizard? Is it... Yes, you could you could say so. I mean, I would say that I'm something of a wizard. I'm pretty wise. I know a lot of things. I can command any animals I want. I could call a unicorn over here right now. That unicorn could carry you anywhere you want. Is that the fast travel mechanic in this? <laughs> it it, it oh, is travel and it is fast. I can guarantee you that. There's a you can even walk on water a little bit. I, do that. that sounds like blasphemy. Yes, brother. That sounds like very much blasphemy. I, now, I am willing to forgive this transgression. 
if perhaps, not just from me, I would, I am a kind soul and I would forgive you, but in the eyes of the Lord, you may not be forgiven. However, I'm willing to impart that forgiveness onto you if you are able to, as you say, command a unicorn to maybe take us to a different place. Hmm. You would forgive me. I would not forgive you. I've already for brother. And she puts a hand on his shoulder. Brother, I have already forgiven you. But it is God that is harder. God is is very non forgiving. Notoriously so. Notoriously. Now so. wait a minute. I <laughs> I disagree. Jesus is forgiving, but God, nah. That's true. I have read Genesis. <laughs> Um, yes, I too have read Genesis. He says in the voice of somebody who has not read Genesis. <laughs> hey, but Genesis, Genesis was written by men, by people in power. How do you know what God said? That's a good point, I suppose. Very well. I was, uh, I, w I was nearly moved to make a bargain with you, but instead I'll make a bar uh, instead I'll make a different bargain. What book is that and fish reading? That's what I want to know. Is that a fish reading a book? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think I think he motions to the fish and says, "You there, come here." And the fish flops out of the uh, flops out of the uh, flops out of the little pond and starts flopping in your direction. Uh, is he reading the Bible? Uh, I mean, it's hard to tell. The print is very tiny. <laughs> the mermaid Bible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he. I, I think I think it jumps over here. It, it looks it looks kind of like a platypus. I think. Yeah, it's got like a bill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's got like a hoodie, yeah. though. <laughs> Can yeah. we comment really quickly on this platypus directly above it that is eating a frog with, with its teeth? Yeah. Some, it. that, some birds it's have teeth. It's not eating a frog. It's, it's, hard it's, hard. Not, it's not eating a frog. It's more like chewing. I, actually, I think I think you realize it's not actually eating a frog at all. Because it's as it's like kind of... Yeah, as it opens its mouth, you realize its tongue is executing a complex bit of mimicry where it looks like a frog. <laughs> Presumably to attract more frogs? It see it seems kind of evolutionarily come <laughs> suspect. But of course, you're not trained to think about it in those terms. To you, this is just another one of God's miracles. True. Sure thing. Anyway, miracles. the fish flops in your direction, and you and I think uh, and I think the man picks up the book, says, well, I can't read this. Do it uh, if you want it. <gasps> sure. sure. I'll take the book. Yeah. Oh, know. we should give it to Let's our nerd. It to the alchemist. Ah, well. Which one of us is well, our nerd? You've been selected. <laughs> <laughs> I, think he, I think he immediately, immediately clocks Favian as the nerd of the group. Yeah. And... <laughs> Hands him the uh, and hands him the. Uh, you can mark this as your fourth item, the world's okay. tiniest book. <laughs> the world's I can't tiniest. Get over that it looks book. like that fish has a, a black hoodie on. <laughs> yeah. Can I? It does have a black hoodie on, and I, th I think it waits patiently at your feet, perhaps for some <laughs> something in return. Um. I think. <laughs> I'd feed it some nuts, but the the freak in the pink robe ate all of them. I have yeah. this um, advanced philosopher's stone. I've learned how to produce gold from dirt. Um, Glorious. And I think I want to make, like, I want to, like, gather some dirt in my hands. I don't know how alchemy works. But from what I know, largely it wasn't mm. effective. Um, but uh, I mean, it was a mixture. True. It was a mixture of like crude chemistry and like symbology, and also just like you know, woo bullshit. Yeah, and like there was some of it that, uh, like there was some of it that kind of, or some of it that kind of worked. It never really produced gold, but it did no. produce some fun stuff. Yeah, a lot of guys drank mercury and shit. It was it was pretty chill. Yeah, yeah. I think he sort I of mean, like that was. Uh... Gets a bit of like dirt in, um, like a little, um, clay dish, and then like, um, pours a vial of something onto it, and it like hisses a bit and crackles and turns into gold, and then he just sort of like 
kneels down and hands a small gold nugget to this fish platypus in a hoodie. Mm-hmm. That's going to be a roll. Sure. I think you're tinkering here. Yeah. So how the rolls in this game work is that you roll 1d6 equal to your action rating, which in this case is tinker. That's one die for you. And you can, at your leisure, use one stress to push yourself and get an extra die. Um, you have 10 stress, right? Like maximum? Yeah. Uh, you have 12 stress maximum. That's when you become helpless. At 6 stress, you become impaired. Okay. Lovely. I am sure there will be no negative consequences of failing this roll. Um, okay. There's uh, an notably, alchemist who's not afraid of this. a full success. Yeah. Uh, the effectiveness is, of this is going to be great, or like increased, because not only will you, if you produce gold from, uh, if you produce some gold, not only will you, not only will you have successfully repaid this fish, you will also change its life. Wow, wow. that's crazy. Well, okay. you know what they say: it's it, it's harder it's harder to get a, a camel through the pin of a knee, or a hole of a pin than it is for a rich platypus to get to heaven. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I think I think we're all kind of beyond heaven at this point. So that's you one d six. Its life, it's going to hell. <laughs> it, it's one d six. Uh, you can spend one stress if you want to push yourself, and also somebody else can spend one stress to help you. Can you push yourself after the fact? No. Okay. <laughs> but it would be recommended in your case because you would <laughs> substantially increase your chances of success. How much stress can we take before something bad happens? Uh, you take uh, up to... Basically, how this works is that you can take... After six stress, you become impaired, so you take minus one die to all of your rolls. At 12 uh, stress, you are helpless or possibly dead. Your your choice. Oh, I'm going to take a stress. Excellent. And roll 2d6. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's a five. So this is success with a consequence. Okay. So I, th so I think what happens here is that uh, so I think what happens here is that the fish sees the uh, is that is that the fish fish sees the gold you've given it. Yeah. And I think, it's <laughs> it looks at the uh, it looks at the man in the robe and his uh, and his strange children. <laughs> then looks to you and says, "Hey." Hey, come a little closer. Uh, yeah. You wanna, you wanna maybe, you wanna maybe blow this joint and uh, see if we can, uh, see if we can find a nice table to uh, maximize our wealth. Um, I think Fabian sort of like glances back at the rest of the group, and then back at this fish platypus. I kind of want to get out of here. Mm. Are your friends cool? Uh, yeah. Yes. Hmm. That didn't sound very convincing. Can I taste a drop of your blood? Um. Why? So I know you're cool. That's how this is. That's how this kind of thing is done. And just kind of looks. Uh, <laughs> she's gonna look shiftily around. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Yeah, take another stress. It's like this. Uh, it's like this <laughs> yeah. platypus opens up its like toothless beak, latches onto your uh, uh, latches onto your finger, and has a little bit of uh, has a little <laughs> bit of a sip. Okay. Your finger looks pale after with after it withdraws and says, "All right, all right, gotcha. We got uh, we got it right. Now, now follow me. Don't mind the good. <laughs> I don't mind the guy." I think it starts kind of flopping, uh, you know, rightward. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, I was imagining that the, like, mermaid bottom was, like, almost like a sleeping bag, and it, like, unzips it, and it has, like, legs. Oh, it have, yes. It does have, like, little arms. It does <laughs> have little arms. Hmm. Maybe it's, uh, maybe what it does is that it has, like, this little fish tail, and it grabs the money between the, uh, and it grabs the gold between its, like, little fish tail flukes. And then starts walking on its hand, walking away on its hands. Oh my goodness. Um, 
Yeah, I look back at everyone also, and be the like... the tiny whale looks like it's about to fly into the sky. It does. <laughs> Do we want to follow this... this guy? I want to be anywhere but right here. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want to get away from this freak who ate all my food. <laughs> I think you should turn your back on this man. He's like, uh, it's like you'll be back soon. You'll want the unicorns. You'll see. I want to follow I'm... this guy. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, there's some there's some fun stuff happening over uh, over to the right as you uh, as you head over this uh, as you head past the little showcase of creatures and into well, what can only be described as the greatest party you've ever seen <laughs> as you enter into the middle panel. <laughs> People oh of astonishing my. variety and nudity are uh, <laughs> engaged in any kind of activity you can imagine, as long as the activities you can imagine chiefly involve being encased in orbs and clamshells. There's like, there's like so orbs, much encasement bouncing going orbs on. on your head. Yeah. Lots of orbs are involved. There's like a lot of uh, there's like a lot oh, of nice. sort of natural architecture. There's like parades happening. People are going around in circles. There's a lot of uh, they're having so much fun. The sound of laughter permeates the air. There are lots of large birds here, but none of them make any song or anything like that. You see like a little owl skinny dipping along with a uh, along with its friend off, and just, off, off to the, uh, <laughs> off the upper side. Just black eyes. Yeah, just pure black eyes, completely dilated in the bright light that the owl is not supposed to be living at. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of activities here. There's like, uh, you see like a little, you see like that little feathery thing up top where there's like a, uh, there's like a, there's like a guy looking out through like a glass cylinder and the mouse is going in there. And that's where your fishy friend is going. In Into the Wait. pineapple? Oh, okay. Yeah, into the pineapple. You're going straight to the no, pineapple probably. peeper's place. Is that where the VIP section is? <laughs> I think the fish looks at looks at you. You should know better than to ask. <laughs> I don't know um, what, but there is something deeply blasphemous about all of this. Hey, I'm sure this was all God's design in some way. God made us Maybe without he's, clothes. He's testing you. Yeah, God made you without clothes. I used to have them. I got rid of them. Oh, nice. Surely Wait, God made all that? these orbs, too. Yeah. Is that our, our friend the it. platypus was telling us that he was born with clothes? Yeah, and got rid of them. Um, <laughs> okay. What's your name? I can't make it any clearer than that. My name? I don't have one. You want to give me one? Um, sure. Animals don't have names, Dingus, but if you give me one, hmm, that could fuel my ascent. Um, this is a bad idea. Don't give, don't give the uh, hell beast a name. Why not? Don't it listen like to the Bruno. extremely moneyed woman. <laughs> what it looks about... like a Bruno to me. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Hmm. You there, scoundrel. <laughs> yes. Could you could you give me a name? It would sound truer coming from you. Hmm. Hmm. I uh <laughs> take out a little dagger and uh like knight knight him. Uh I'll say Sir Bruno, yeah. Sir Bruno. Oh wow! You gotta, you gotta add a little pop in circumstance. He's earned mm. it. I mean, Taking he was trying party. to ascend after all. Mm hmm. <laughs> all right, all right, Sir Bruno. Glorious. I feel my strength already increasing. <laughs> He's still looking at his hands. <laughs> But he looks just a little bit more muscular. Like there's a little bit more purpose in the in, in those eyes. They look a little more human. There's these, oh. there, there's these strangely human like eyes looking at you from this platypus. It's it's not a great thing to see. Take one stress. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
and I think it. Uh, I think he just kind of. Uh, I think he leaps back into the water and uh, just kind of shuffles over to the pineapple peeper's place. I think he grabs the rat that's kind of that's kind of trying to talk its way in, pulls it out of the tunnel, and and, and goes right in itself, and, uh, and and goes right in himself. And Sir Bruno like whispers something to the pineapple peeper who moves out of the way, and just kind of goes into the pineapple. Uh. Was he like inviting us in? Yeah, he said well, that's a cool place. Out. Can Start we fit? Rolling. I'm not going on uh-huh. pineapple. <laughs> it's gonna be a, it's gonna be kind of a tough fit because you look because you see the rat over there. It's gonna be like uh, you're yeah. really gonna have to you know m- maneuver those shoulders quite a bit. <laughs> Uh, who wants to go I in first? I refuse to engage with pineapple blasphemy. I will stand outside. <laughs> who wants to go in at all? <laughs> um, <laughs> I I want to like kneel down and like look through the tube. Does that does that look like there's much space in there? Uh, unclear, but the pineapple peeper is staring back out at you mutely. <laughs> I'm gonna give, like, a little wave. <laughs> Does not wave back. Just keeps <laughs> staring straight at you. Okay. I'm gonna stand up. Yeah, I don't think we should go in. Yeah, if we're looking for a way out... I mean, look, this place is weird, but I don't think it's weird enough we're going in. Something's going to help us. I. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at all of these people. Yeah, they're partying. Mm-hmm. You're c- now. <laughs> you feel overdressed. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm like half naked. Yeah. I mean, you look so, you look less overdressed than everybody else. Should should we ask these? I'm afraid to ask these people where we are because the last time we did that, the man was um not well. <laughs> we could start with the other conversation to gauge their fitness. Okay, do it then. And she like waves you over to the oyster man, I guess. Yeah, the oyster man is carrying <laughs> a uh, is carrying a person and another oyster, and is uh, is just going. Oh, it looks like there's there's two people in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, two there people in that oyster. Mm-hmm. There are three feet. It's true. Mm-hmm. You, you look you look a little closer, and there's three feet coming out of it. There's two people in there. What are they doing? Well, it's not for God to know. <laughs> <laughs> is, this, is this the realm where you can hide from God? I might want to stay here. Maybe. <laughs> I think the guy looks to you. I think the guy looks to you and so and, and says, "You look like people of secrets." <laughs> no. Is this a good place for secret holders? Oh yeah. Take off your clothes. Nobody knows who you are. You look, like, well, look, look at... like you got some secrets in that shell there. <laughs> oh, do I ever? Good honest days were carrying secrets all over the garden. Looks looks heavy. Reminds me of the day I had to carry my own cross. Ooh, cool. <laughs> I never carried my own cross. They just kind of lashed me up on it. What? Oh, so you were, you were also cru- attempt or you were also uh, uh, crucified or attempted to be crucified? No, no, I was crucified. Oh. They did. They did it pretty often back in the Eastern Roman Empire. And you survived? No. What do you mean no? Well, it's a method of execution, isn't it? And you died? Yeah. Execution doesn't always work. But you're standing in front of us. <laughs> hmm. I well, guess that is correct. Time. Where do hate you to, think hate we to are? Think what that implies for you? Huh? 
where, where do you think we are? What do you mean, where do I think we are? We okay, are. where I are we? I don't think anything. You're in the garden. And... I'm judging this one not fit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, screw you! I'm fit! Look at me carrying this oyster! Yeah. <laughs> There's like two I'm people in there. Maybe more. Fit. Maybe more! Maybe <laughs> more! Could be one person with three I feet. We don't know. carry this. I'm gonna walk over to the the group uh, below him and ask if they all died. Does everyone here mm. die? Uh, which group is, is that? that the one here? with the lady with the cherries on her head, or is the oh, absolutely, the, is the yeah, one yeah. With the, uh... yeah, yeah, yeah. I think all of them. I think oh. all of them turn to you and go, uh, <laughs> "Die? Nobody ever dies. Don't be hmm. silly." I'm obsessed. So how'd you end up here? Duck. Regale me. <laughs> hmm? What was the question? Uh, then how'd you get here? Tell us your story. And then how'd I get here? What's happening? Nobody's ever really, nobody's ever really asked me that. I suppose I just kind of woke up here at some point. It was underneath an orange tree, I think. Or maybe a pommel tree? I don't know if oranges have been invented yet. What happened before you woke up underneath the orange tree? Because we also did wake up underneath an orange tree. Underneath an orange tree? Hmm. Well, you must be... Well, by by the principle of rationality, that means that whatever happened to you also happened to me. What happened to you? And why do you have your clothes on? God's sake, get with the program. Tightening my nun belt. I will not <laughs> be doing that. It's how God made us. Be nude. Mm -mm. God made That's me to wear clothes. That's a convincing argument. Now... I don't remember what happened to me, but, um... <laughs> I think she's just kind of pumping her fist and, like, uh, urging the other ones to join in, so she's chanting, Be nude! Be nude! Be nude! I don't think talking you. to anybody... I don't think any, talking to anybody is a solution in this place. I think Fabian <laughs> starts taking his clothes off. I think Ziggy also <laughs> starts taking his, their clothes off. <laughs> yeah! I think they, they all clap. <laughs> I still have my apron on, though. Stop it. It's kind of liberating. Oh, clothes yeah. off. Clothes off. <laughs> hey, you know the 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 whole crucifixion thing has really got me thinking. Maybe maybe we are dead. Maybe we should uh just you know when in Rome it. Yeah. Well, don't take half measures. She says fully clothed, but <laughs> still judging you for leaving the apron on. <laughs> hey, I need. I still need access to all my tools. Mm. Fair enough. Actually, that's a good point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, we don't judge. You know who does judge, though? There's one <laughs> very important person who judges. You? <laughs> Sister, no. I think I have some bad news for you. I think we've already been judged, and this is where we ended up. I refuse <laughs> to believe that. Well, we got if to I'm heaven. Judged, I am supposed to be in heaven. I am a nun. Maybe this is heaven. Look, everybody seems to be having a delightful time. Yeah. We're having such a good time. If Look this was dark. heaven, everything would not be like this. And she gestures broadly. What makes you say that? It's a pretty good time. You Do you not remember lives. the man in the pineapple? Or the guy with the silverfish? Do, do, the three-headed thing? Hmm. Hey, you know, you know, the church, you can't believe anything that the church says. Maybe this is how it actually is, and they've been covering Ooh, it. Ooh, I can see why you wound up here. I'm not it's denying this place has <laughs> has positives, <laughs> but did you see that? Did you see the fish, the horrors that that fish turned into? I don't think heaven would have something that like um, that painful to perceive. I have a question. Um, <laughs> yeah, the big fish, uh below us does that smell or is it alive oh my god uh i mean it smells well hmm well it's hard to tell whether it's alive or not okay the kind of blank stare makes you think it might not be <laughs> hmm i think a lot of people are rubbing it for good luck as they pass it by <laughs> okay that's all yeah. Uh, which one of you took their clothes off? I did. Everything okay. but the apron. Yeah, I still have my, like, goggles okay. on. 
Mm -hmm. Wonderful. In that case, uh, both Wilmoth and Narcissa take uh, one stress from peer pressure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that you could just, like, give us stress at any point for any reason. <laughs> yeah, I mean, why, why else? So they just give me what I want without me even even trying to roll for it. I mean, we, we, we've made very little rolls. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Listen, rolling is overrated. Yeah. Well, it's rolling funny because like one of my moves makes it so that I don't even have to roll my best stat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. I gave you the chance to roll and you didn't take it. <laughs> I can only ex I can only interpret that in one way. Anyway, you know that little like pinecone looking thing that like uh, this guy is drinking from. I think uh, I think some of these people start bringing that over to Fabian. Fabian, do um, not drink out of the pine cone. Sip, what is it? Sip, sip. I probably shouldn't drink out of the pine cone. It's drink. What sort? <laughs> what do you mean, what sort? <laughs> you know. Come on, let's have some. Can I smell it? I mean, we could. We can put it up up to your mouth or up to your nose, and I'm sure you're gonna like one of those more than the other. <laughs> Um, what's it taste like? You gotta make the choice. I mean, it tastes like drink. I don't know what to tell you. Mm. I'm asking you to sip idea. from the uh, nectar of what could be the gods. I, yeah, um, okay. Great! And they, put, they put it up to your, uh, they, yeah. I think they put it up to your mouth and uh, just kind of very gently incline it and uh, drops of, uh, it, it's interesting because once it's, because like, once it hits your tongue, it becomes like, like, it's like your entire mouth immediately dries out. Oh no. Some of it starts kind of creeping down your throat a little bit and it's a, it's a bad feeling. I'm gonna like, step Make back. Stress. Okay. That's awful. <laughs> and they go, oh. I mean, yeah, it's a drink. <laughs> How do you feel, though? Dry. Yeah. <laughs> that's how you know you've been hitting that drink. I don't, I don't think that's how that's meant to work. Listen, nobody knows how dry you are, except for us, because we've all had it. All of you? Yeah, all of us. What do you drink for 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 water for like for drinking? Oh, from the pond. Gross. I mean, if you say so. Are we are we like post the need for hydration? I don't think so. We're not post the need for hydration. We're extremely thirsty all the time. Maybe if you Why stop you drinking, drinking out of the this? dry cornucopia. Hmm. Stop That's drinking the, the juice that makes you dry. <laughs> Novel concept. Roll convince. <laughs> Me? <laughs> what, whichever You're one of you wants to. I can do it. I'm good at that. What are we rolling to? Who? Who's being convinced of what? <laughs> These people do not drink the juice that makes you dry. <laughs> I think. I think Sister Narcissa is like authority, voice of authority with the church. Is like stop drinking this. Oh, interesting. Not hmm. like with the not like I'm just saying as as an authority figure. Say Do you like walk up and this. slap the pine cone out of their hand? No. I don't think I'm I'm invoking my I I have my move is when I intimidate or threaten another person with the might of the church, uh I take plus one die. I don't think I'm doing that, but I think I'm just like by presence of being a church person in the 1500s have like mm -hmm. a little bit more weight and I'm like stop doing that. Mm -hmm. It's uh, bad for you. I would like to Yeah, help. that's that's just like Yeah, okay. So my move uh philosopher's stone, you learned how to produce gold from dirt. You may assist other characters for zero stress so long as you can do so by offering money. <laughs> And I want to try to, like, Ooh. give them some gold to be like, go buy yourself something better to drink. <laughs> Get some okay. wet juice. That's that's the good kind. Wet juice. Novel concept. 
Uh, but yeah, you get a, you get plus one die so give me three dice. Okay. That is only a five. A five. There is a consequence here. Uh, yeah, I think there's like uh, I think uh, I think they I think they go not drink the juice to drink not drink the juice that makes you dry. They all like think about this very solemnly. And I think they all look to the duck, and the duck, and there's like a long pregnant pause between all of them before the before the duck solemnly nods. And I think it motions for you to come closer. I step a little closer to the duck. The duck leans forward, a uh, sumptuous red little berry in its mouth. It, it seems to be offering it to you. I hold out my hands. Mm -hmm. It gently puts the little fruit into your hands. Thank you. The duck looks at you with its featureless, featureless animal eyes. I take the berry and I put it in the same pouch with my money. Yeah. Uh, mark a berry in your inventory. Okay. Juicy red duckberry. <laughs> I think they, uh, I think they all just kind of set the pine cone down, and you see where it's being set down on the ground. A little bit of that juice that makes you dry <laughs> continues to kind of seep mm -hmm. out of it and uh, progressively dry out the grass around it, which, which starts turning black and uh, <laughs> oh. black and wither away. This is what I'm saying. If this was heaven, they wouldn't have the juice that makes you dry. They would have wet juice. <laughs> where do we find this wet juice, Sister Narcissa? I don't know. In the Recipient berries. of the fruit I'm of not... wisdom. I'm a nun, not a juicer. The, I don't know. Ask someone else. All well, right, Narcissa, you there. Is, is there any re reason you could have died? Is there any reason I could have died? We've ended oh, up somewhere. Or... And either uh, either heaven has the juice that makes you dry or you're in hell. Or we're not dead and we can leave. I am an optimist and I choose to believe that we can leave. I'm really mm. starting to remember being crucified, though. That's Ooh. really rough. Well, you know, Jesus came back and maybe you can, too. Everybody's like, oh, fuck, what if we're in purgatory? What if we've been fucking up this whole time? <laughs> it's um, like a funny advertisement. Jesus came back from the dead, and you can too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Resurrection is within. I mean, that is kind of the pitch. I think, I think some of these people seem to be coming around on that. Mm hmm. I think the guy carrying the oyster comes over, sets the oyster down on the ground, says, Maybe I can come back from the dead. Maybe Why none of us are dead. Back from the dead. Maybe we can all leave, but we need to leave to leave. Hell yeah. We'll we'll all follow you then. Lovely. <laughs> this procession of people sits gathering up behind you. We appear to have lost Sean. Oh really? Uh oh. Oh yeah. Out of oh. the Discord. Um and the um Roll twenty. Oh yeah, I oh, didn't no. even uh, didn't even see that. Um should we take a ten for Sean? Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Sure. Cool. Sounds good. I will take us over right. to the break it's been a screen. It's been a chaotic hour and a half, but uh, before we go on the break, have you already taken us to the break? No, not yet. Okay, before I go into the break, anybody who's listening, donate to medical aid for Palestinians. Now's a great time, as we all take a momentary rest and contemplate the mysteries of God. Oh, wow. We and maybe find Sean again. And drink some, some water that makes you wet. Yeah, drink some <laughs> of that wet juice. Don't drink the juice that makes you dry. Leave that in your cupboard. Can we... How do we find a thing to shout out who's donated? Yeah, I don't know where that mm -hmm. is. Oh, it's in, uh, I think Cole posted it in our chat. That's oh, yeah. just for, that's just, that's just for the track. ones that have been read out. Oh, got it, got it, got it. I think oh, it's yeah, I see. in the Tiltify. 
Oh, Jonathan Chen. Oh. Oh, cool. We should right. still take a little break. Yes. Um, yeah, we should take a little break. It's been a it's been an overwhelming little bit. Okay. Yeah. Taking us yeah. to break. And when we come back, we'll read out some of your donations. So, you know, put in some good ones. Mm-hmm.
we're back. Wonderful. We are returning to you all with, uh, what do they call it? Hieronymus, a game by Laurie O'Connell, uh, published by 12 Pins Press. We are, of course, the Roll Plus Bond 5th Anniversary Stream, and we are raising money for medical aid for Palestinians. We got some, we've got some donations over the past hour and a half. Let's look at some of them. We got, let's see, we got an anonymous donation for 100 pounds. Pretty good. Wow. We got a 609 donation from uh, Gehenna. We've got, uh, we got a 10 pound donation from Nicole. Every little bit helps. It's good. It's good stuff. We got 25, don 25 pound donation from Fickle Pickle Pie. Uh, I like it. I like it the amount we got so far. 255 pounds in the dead of night. Incredible. Yeah. Read a start. Yeah. Dead of night. Thank you all so much. Dead of Night. Sure, we're a globetrotting game who are uh, who are literally tr drawing a triangle through the core of the fucking earth, but we are. <laughs> That's one of the coolest things about Roll Plus Bond to me, is that it's like a global community, which is kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's broadly an anglophone community, so not so not yeah. super yeah. global, yeah. but still pretty good. Mm -hmm. At the so, very least, yeah. we can all come together to raise money for Palestine. Yeah, we're raising money for Palestine. It's great. It's good. It's good stuff. And you know, you know what we're also doing? We're not drinking the juice that makes you dry. Yeah, hydrate. <laughs> Important Christ message says. to carry forward. <laughs> Christ says hydrate. <laughs> well, I mean, now that they're not drinking, there's more for me. So maybe I'll start drinking it. Yeah. I'm always down for novelty. I, I'll, I'll try the juice that makes you dry at least once. It's not mm. very good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> trying the blasphemy juice. What is wrong with you people? I'm not going to try it, but know you open your mind. Could be useful. Yeah. If it wasn't blasphemous, it wouldn't make you dry. Sister, no. Wine makes you dry. A lot of ideas in your head. Mm -hmm. Wine makes so you dry. A lot of holy things, man. Make people dry. <laughs> Are you saying the blood of Christ comments? is blasphemous? Yeah. <laughs> saying that drinking too much of the blood of Christ is blasphemous. Well trodden ground. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure they his first miracle was making wine at a party. Yeah. I follow the spirit, not the letter of the scripture. Um, that's mm -hmm. my stance. Please don't. Seems tell the pretty vibes based to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, great news for the uh, a great news for the religious leaders among you. You've gathered a small troop of uh, small troop of people <laughs> who have uh, joined your <laughs> pilgrimage train in search of the wet juice. It's fine. I'm used to having weirdos follow me around. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of them. I think uh, I think quite a, most of them are new. Although some, many of you are new as well, so it's not uh, so you're progressively realizing that you might not be uh, maybe they're not as unlike you as you might have thought. Mm. Something to think about. That's Something worrying. to chew on. I still think we're all dead. Mm hmm. Really true. Yeah, I'm taking the dry juice. <laughs> yeah. Let me get <laughs> let me get a sip. Uh, Put dry Only. juice in your inventory. <laughs> yeah. You're taking the dry juice? I'm not gonna drink it, probably, but I just think it's useful. It could be useful. Hey, yeah. Let me let me get a let me get a pull of the, the dry juice. Uh, uh, do you take sure. a pull of the dry juice? Why not? I do. You take one stress. Okay. It's so dry. Huh? <laughs> I you told you it was wow. bad, man. <laughs> you feel like you feel like this has undone at least like ten of the drinks you've had in your life. <laughs> <laughs> Any good you alcoholic? may have derived from them has been erased. Not, not as such. It's like sort of, uh, what's sort of like, maybe like if you drank enough of it, the thirst would cause you would cause something not unlike drunkenness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, but not alcoholic, it's like, really. It's like when you eat really hot peppers, you can get high off of it. Yeah. That kind of Is thing. Is that true? But worse, actually. It's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like how you can eventually, like, uh, 
put get your body to such an equilibrium that you can live off salt water, but it's not going to be pleasant for you. That's a thing it's you probably can not do. Live very long. Yeah, it's it's hard to do, but apparently you can do it. Just like existing on the very edge of death, drinking seawater. <laughs> <laughs> sounds awful. That sounds like a bad time. It sounds like one of hey. the worst things that can happen to you. It's yes, just, it's it's just electrolytes. Yeah, it's electrolytes. It's <laughs> it's what your body craves. I imagine like we're having this conversation as we walk. <laughs> yeah. Some of the people in your pilgrim train are like, uh, you know how some of them are carrying like these blueberries or like. Uh, yeah, I was about to ask about the blueberries. Or... Yeah, I think many of them are like sullenly munching on them now that they know can no longer do the drink. What about this like woman that has like a like a, a strawberry bug attached to her back? Oh, I well. wanted to ask about her also. Which one was that? The, the one strawberry to our left. bug here. Oh, she's kind of she's kind of off on her own. I think the straw. I think she and the strawberry bug are just good friends. It does seem like it's like feeding on her though. I want to know it about the one upside you down go over and find out? the duck. <laughs> sure. Oh yeah, that's like the duck carrier. The duck can... is. Do they have a? Should, should we walk past the like the butt stuff zone with the flowers? <laughs> <Over here. laughs> Excuse me. Wait, which one? Yeah. They, oh. Uh, this is like about two dozen people have joined your train. This is by no means all the people over here. These are just like the, uh, these are just like the drink brigade. Can I grasp one of these blue orbs off of one of these huge like blue raspberries? Uh, do you want to like when you say grasp, what do you mean? <laughs> well, you know, I, I I just I just drank the the bad the bad dry juice and I want to chase it with um some blue raspberry. Uh, I mean the flavor that would kill a medieval child. Uh huh. Because no. it doesn't exist in nature. I think the person holding on to it is like a is like guarding it a bit jealously. I think they've been just kind of. I think I think they've just been kind of chewing on it for a little while, and uh, they just. I think I think when you try to go over to it, they just kind of try and uh, pull it away from you. They go like, um, can, nah, -uh, mine. Can I try to make a friend? Maybe I feel like we've been a little bit antagonistic with, with these people and. Speak for yourself. Maybe if we start like get yeah. getting on their level, that they might be more like helpful. You've already taken off some of your clothes, so I think you've made yeah. some good progress toward that. So you can try to convince yeah. them if you want. Yeah. So I, I I walk up and I'm like, oh, that's a quite the voluptuous berry that you have there. Voluptuous. They they look at you with feverish eyes. I like that word. <laughs> I thought you would. Um. <laughs> mm, they kind of, kind of wig waggle their eyebrows. <laughs> I'm feeling the vibe uh, between us. Oh yeah. Uh, w would you let me partake in your your bountiful berry? Ooh, <laughs> that's gonna be a convince roll. <laughs> Ooh, alliteration. Uh, so I have one die in convince, right? Is that a one? Uh, yeah, you have one. As it stands, yeah. you can try and push yourself on this. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm already t at two of six stress before I become impaired, so. Um, so yeah, it's not going to be great for you when do you do it, I guess. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> I think I think we need some 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 allies here in this, this strange land. Yeah, this person is, by the way, following you. They're just, you know, just kind of munching on their berry and don't want to share it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm just trying to remember how to use roll 20. There it is. Okay. Uh, it's slash roll, right? Yeah. Yep. We can also do double square brackets if you're a pro power user of roll 20. Like me what? with like a... fucking 5,000 hours in there. That's a five. <laughs> I'm glad I took that, uh, yeah. took that stress. That bonus die really saved you there. Uh, yeah, I think... I think you get to take a bite. I think you get to take a bite of the berry. And you feel that the... I think once you take a bite of the berry, you can refresh 1d6 stress. Whoa. Oh, hell yeah. Sometimes you gotta take stress to heal stress, I guess. Yeah. This is a very good choice on your part. Good berry RNG. Oh, three. I'm back down to zero. Hell yeah. This berry fucking kicks ass. 
Yeah, this berry kicks. It's like a great berry. It's like it's a, a it's like a blue raspberry. It's a it's blue like the, raspberry. It's the forbidden berry. It is the it is a berry that should not be. There's many I things that should I not think be you've here. Been... I think yeah. my medieval mind is like blown by this. Yeah, I'm going to tick the follower clock once because you've indulged in your sins. <laughs> because ah. I think once you've bitten out of this berry, you realize you realize you've transgressed against man and god by uh, <laughs> by taking a bite of this berry. Oh no! You feel like a it's strange, ominous sense of foreboding go through your entire body as uh, as the entire garden just like feels a little more deeper, more profound, more total. It feels less I... like an illusion and more like a real thing. I do look to the sky, kind of ponderously, as I consume the blue raspberry. Yeah, I think you see the clouds clear a little bit, and there is uh, there is the faintest sense of like a heavenly light shining down on you. Hmm. Wait, there's clouds. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what does up look like? Good question. Do you want to look up? Well, I don't want to when you say it like that, but yes. <laughs> that is the feeling you get when you try to look up. There's like a, you look up and there's like a, it's swirling in a way that, uh, and the, when you look closer at the clouds, they kind of swirl a little bit in your vision. You feel like there might be, a, it feels like the clouds are alive almost as they just kind of, uh, as they mm. roil and twist and uh, just kind of susurrate above. There's like a, there's like a faint feeling of music everywhere, a sort of uh, like some of these may be playing, uh, like some of these may be playing like a thousand, a thousand little violins everywhere. And you realize that's the sound that the clouds are making. Oh, that sucks. So tell me about yourself. Myself? Oh, good question. I'm addressing the berry, berry woman. She, I think, uh, I think she looks at the berry and goes, "I think I feel like I used to know the, know the answer to this one once." How'd you end up here? Oh, mmm, mmm. Listen, once I had the blue raspberry, there was no going back. I can see what you mean. Yeah, I know, right? Hell of a thing. Is it just me, or do you feel judged? <laughs> I feel I wouldn't I wouldn't describe this judgment. I would say it's uh, it's sort of like the absence of judgment. Uh -huh. It's I feel like I could just you know, and I think uh, and I think a third eye opens on her forehead, you know. All three eyes stare at you now. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can't say I do know, but I'm 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 trying to learn. Yeah, I think you could do it too if you really try. I start to focus on my third eye. <laughs> okay, give me. I think this is what's going to roll. Roll to open up your third eye. Analyze. Would it be analyzed? Yeah. Yeah, it would be analyzed. It's introspection. Okay. I have nothing in that. <laughs> Anybody want to help? Absolutely not. You really don't need to. <laughs> this is a bad idea, probably. <laughs> I'm gonna take one stress to do it since I got that I got that juice in me. Yeah, you got that, that juice in you. Track. You got that juice in you. I could also give you a devil's bargain. Don't worry about the name. Oh, what's a what's a devil's bargain? <laughs> uh, I think a devil's bargain is that regardless of whether you open your third eye, your fourth eye will also open. Okay, hell yeah, let's do that. <laughs> cool. Can I take a devil's bargain and take stress? Yeah. Okay. Let's assume so. I think it's more fun that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's. Brings me from zero to two dice. Hell yeah. Five. Good thing you took that. Yeah. You open up your... Uh, I think you open up your third eye on your forehead, same as her <laughs> third eye is. And I think then your fourth eye also opens. And it's kind of in the... And I think it's in the back of your head. Ooh. And suddenly you begin to see the world in like 360 degrees and somehow more than three dimensions. Damn, this juice, this this berry got me fucked up, y'all. Yeah. 
There's like so, you begin to you begin to suddenly take in more of this garden than ever before. It's becoming stereoscopic in ways that are rapidly unmanageable. And uh, taking in it in a little more, another eye opens like on the side of your head. Okay, I'm just gonna like vibe with the berry woman for a second, and y'all can have a chance to do something because I feel like I took over here on accident. You feel like you're turning into an angel slowly. It's great. Cool. Um, you tend to tell somebody to, to not be afraid. Really quickly, could we get the dice rolls on screen for the for the audience yeah. at home? Like the yeah, stats. Or oh. oh, just um, people were asking what the rolls were because they can't see like. Ah. Sorry. What yeah. the dice rolls are. At least said the number that was important. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we gotta yell out the number is the thing. We also have to yell out whenever the number is also very low, yeah. or um, for funny. Yeah, exactly. Big numbers, big prizes. I love it. Um, yeah. What are the rest of you doing? <laughs> I just see Ziggy kind of start experiencing things. I think that. Um... I think that Sister Narcissa is going to... What? Is this a vase that this man is in, or is it like a, a big fruit? It's sort of like a... Which one? Are you familiar with... with are you familiar with the... Uh, are you talking about the blue one that, like, the duck is near? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's kind of like a juniper berry, and that's not actually a berry, but it looks like one. Okay. It's Can I of... stand on it? Uh, yeah, it's kind of like standing on a barrel turned sideways, where it could turn bad in a hurry, but you can do it. You can like you know unsteadily balance on top of it. I'm gonna ask. Um, I think I'm gonna ask. Uh, Fabian. Um, Fabian, can you can you hold this for me? I need to address the congregation. Uh, sure. And Sister Narcissa stands on top of it, and she's gonna sort of, in her in her best, you know, addressing the congregation voice, is going to say, "Those who are gathered here in the Garden of Earthly Delights, I understand that we all have lost our way. We are out of the grace of God's light currently, but we will return to it. If you follow us, we shall lead you back. And if you have anything you can give." to us to help you lead any ma maybe material possessions or any sort of cool stuff or good advice that would be incredible um and then we're gonna start in a couple seconds where uh once once the crowd has settled down we're gonna start walking um if no one suggests a better direction my my vote is northward so Ooh, that's North where Mark. I'm going to start. Like, up? up. Someone has a compass. Yes, up, up, up. Everybody start, everybody's just chanting, up, 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 up. Up, 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 up yeah. Up. Just clapping a little up. bit. Up. But, remember, but for remember real, my... any donations, that would be great. <laughs> Give me a convince. <laughs> I was gonna say, but but remember, kindred spirits. It's all about the journey, not the destination. Exactly. And the stuff. I I will help by saying, yeah, we we gotta come together on this one. It's it's a party, and we gotta you know make sure everyone's doing great this whole time. Okay, Finish up yeah. whatever you're doing with flowers over there. <laughs> we don't want to see it. <laughs> That's definitely blasphemy. That's super sodomy. I know that one. That's sodomy. <laughs> It's not um, just regular sodomy, it's super sodomy. It's super sodomy. I don't know, sodomy. is it? That's flowers. Goku, Goku leveled up. It's natural. Yeah. Um, does, should I roll for them to give us stuff, or does anyone give us yeah. anything? Uh, you should roll to see the quality of the stuff that you receive. I'll put some gold in to get sure. it started. Oh yeah, that means Ooh, you get two yeah. assists. That's uh, nice. That's fantastic. That's two extra dice. You roll four dice here. 
Holy shit. I fashion a little a little wood box for us to put donations in. Ooh, cool. It's a that's six, a baby. six. Yeah, Lovely. that's full six. No seven. negative consequence. I think the duck looks to you, having offered the fruit before, and sees that you are indeed uh, you are indeed a worthy woman on a mission from God. Is and the I duck think... their leader? Yeah, clearly. And I think. <laughs> I Damn. think it looks to, uh, I think it looks to like the woman with the cherries on her head and like inclines its head to, to like sort of indicate a matter of the greatest urgency. And I think, and I think the congregation get together and they raise up the big fish that's laying on the ground. <laughs> and they Damn offer it, and they offer it to you like somebody would offer a sword to a champion. The cherry woman, her eye is like kind of bugging out if you zoom in. <laughs> yeah, that's the dry juice. <laughs> she drank too She's much. She's fucking dry to the bone. Now, Me when the dry that? juice hits. <laughs> the dry juice how has been really is hidden. Fish? Is this fish very big? It looks it. Uh, it's uh, it's kind of uh, I would describe it as kind of mummified, so it's surprisingly light. But also, it's in the foreground, so maybe. You know, we, yeah. we've already Maybe we've already decided that the the closer you get to the no, but there's the a hand get. next to it. It's... For comparison, yeah, it's sort of like a. It has the weight and size profile of a surfboard. You think this could come in handy? <laughs> Thank you, very much, my loyal follower. Um, so thanks. Yes, we follow you up. Up, no, up. they're definitely followers. Up, they're subjects of the Lord. Okay, uppies, time sister, for be uppies. careful with that. I, I, I tried this one, and they, they nailed me to a cross for it. Mm. You know, that's um... my subjects. <laughs> we could be mm. your subjects too. We're not, we're not that picky. Congregation, we like, the, we like the sister, but we, we're all subjects of God. Come on, guys. Subjects of God. We're newly subjects of God. Yes. Uppies. God is uppies. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> I, I read that. I think they the look Bible. earnestly at each other and say, God is uppies. God is uppies. <laughs> as, as uppies, so downies. Hey, cats are always saying God is uppies. Um... Now I'm I'm attempting to add surfboard fish to my item retinue. Yeah. But I only have four slots. You have a fifth. You can have as many as you want. Oh, okay. Just add a add a row. I didn't know if that was a um uh, No no it's not a limit. <laughs> okay. You can have as many you can have as many strange things as you want. Always um, more to acquire out here. But I will say that as you hold this fish, you feel a sort of mystical attunement to it because it was a fish freely given to you. You feel lucky holding it. Wow. Almost to a blasphemous I... degree. Or maybe that's just a divine blessing. Maybe you shouldn't question it. Mm. Maybe it's fine. No, I'm a nun. So I would know blasphemy. Definitely not blasphemous. Gift from my followers. Yeah. A fish can't be blasphemous because a fish can't say anything. That's what I'm saying. What? If it's saying something, that's not a fish. That's the devil. God loved fish. Mm -hmm. God loves fish. <laughs> why, why else would there be so many? <laughs> like most of his friends were fishermen. Okay. But yeah, think about it. Now that you've, now that you've decided that God is up, where exactly would you like to go next? <laughs> I just said uh, uppies if anyone has a strong uh, feeling. Uh, well, maybe we should go past the, the red tree cone and then cross mm -hmm. the moat of people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a moat. The guy moat? <laughs> the, yeah, the guy, guy moat. moat. Oh. Yeah. yeah, there's like a... <laughs> there is a guy moat. It's true. I didn't even notice <laughs> Someone that. Someone just noticed the guy moat, huh? Every time someone yeah. says a thing that's in this painting, I'm like, the what? It's great. The what? It's a great experience. 
<laughs> you walk past a beautiful unfurling flower full of what else? Nude people. Also, <laughs> also a little tree cone that is also full of nude people. What are they all doing? They all seem to be laughing a lot and having a great time. They are. Uh, they look kind of. They. They all. Some of them are curious as to where you're going. Like a uh, one or two maybe peel off from individual from individual groups to follow along because like you know the principle of God is up. He's just carefully explained to them. Everything is happening as it should. The principles of God is up. are being promulgated in this co in this <laughs> congregation. God is up. God is up. Anyway, you've come to the guy mode where a. Uh, where a where a large and uh, where a large and fiercely intelligent looking bird is uh, seemingly feeding more of these red fruits to a moat full of guys. I oh. immediately depose and crowd surf. Oh, oh, you we have a surfboard. You're gonna get bit. You're gonna uh, give me. That's gonna be a roll. Sure. Is that move. Yeah, that's move. It's absolutely move. What's a what's a devil's bargain? <laughs> a devil's bargain? Uh, I mean, a devil's bargain might be. Hmm. I'll get if you don't one. They throw you in the water. <laughs> oh. No. Actually, Actually no. Oh, that would be fine. contrary to uh, to what you're hoping to do. I think you're crowd surfing. Let's say that they are going to maybe they're hungry. Yeah. No, they're very <laughs> hungry. It's true. Yeah. I think they're gonna take a bite out of you if you uh, <laughs> my devil's bargain. Well, you know, I'm I'm a creator. I'm good at making things. I've just kind of opened up my 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 third and fourth eyes. What if they uh -huh. just like rob me of all my stuff? Hmm. Yeah. They're gonna take all of your stuff. Let's say that uh let's say that's a workable devil's bargain. <laughs> they're gonna take your apron and they're gonna eat it. Oh. <laughs> that's kind of disturbing actually, just imagining like people just gnawing at my clothes. Yeah. <laughs> what little you have left. Yeah. <laughs> that's a three. That's a three. <laughs> No, I think you no. don't. I think you don't have a. I think you don't necessarily have a clear understanding of what happens because as you, as you start crowd surfing the guy most, the problem is that uh, you are, first of all. Uh, you start crowd surfing, and then the guy mode seems to like grow wider around you as your sight takes in all of them. And soon enough, you uh, and soon enough, you're no longer crowd surfing the guy mode. You're kind of lowered into the guy mode, oh, and no. you, despite your many eyes, are now another guy in the mode. Not another guy in the moat. Strangely, no. strangely, the fact is, you look at the other people here, and they also have, some of them have multiple eyes. One of them gets fed a red berry by a bird, and, and, and another eye opens up. Well, you know, that's that's why, why Jesus was the son of God. They just had to have God be in the guy moat to, you know, see what it's like to be a guy in the moat. Oh, no. you know? Yeah, the guy moat is somewhere between like a uh, between like a very long queue and like a mosh pit. People are elbowing each other sometimes in the eyes. It's it, it's, it's not a great place to be, honestly. <laughs> and you can't really get out because all the people are just the, it's like a crabs in the bucket effect. We're just kind of pushing you toward the middle of the moat because that's where it's hardest to get the bird to give you anything. Yeah. Um. Excuse me, great bird. The bird looks to you, yes. Um can you help us get our friend out of the group of people? He thinks about this for a second. No. Uh, I'm busy. Ask again okay. later. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. No, you not understand. Fair enough. That's our guy. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna climb up behind the bird and push it off of its perch. <laughs> cool. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Get his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be sneaky about it. Well, you're talking to the bird. I'm like, no. This is. <laughs> Excellent. 
Okay, yeah, you get uh, you can make a move roll and you take the plus one die from uh, from your sneak. Sweet, perfect. Look, that was the talking you, of you someone with zero get three dice to this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me that uh, <laughs> three three dice. Oh, oh six. <laughs> I don't think succeeding is important to the story. <laughs> yeah, you managed to. Good. You just like uh, it's a bird, so it's actually very light, despite the fact that it's about mm-hmm. your size. You can just like shove this guy off the thing, and like by the uh, and, like by the time it's realized what's happened, it's just kind of it's just kind of landed inside the guy moat, and uh, it's really incredible cultural and physical power of the guy moat is soon not all that different from any of the other guys in the moat. <laughs> Dude, just dudes right. being dudes, you know? Yeah. Just one of them is a bird. It's a weird thing. It's also now got its mouth open and standing like right exactly the way that the guy and that the guys in the boat are. <laughs> is there like a a trove of berries that the bird's been using? Yeah, up here. Okay, maybe you we can use those to bad. get our friend out. If I just start like throwing them away, <laughs> I don't think guy might move. Just throwing them away? Like throwing them in a direction that will uh let that will like push. Um, our friend out of the moat, perhaps, as they try to get him further and further away from where the berries are. Oh, okay. As they fight over the berries, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, I think that would, I think that'll just work. Let's, let's let it right here, because I think you pick up the, I think you pick up the berries and you throw them, and the guys in the moat start climbing out of the moat en masse. Oh my goodness. There's, like, a riot breaks out out here as they just... (laughs) <laughs> you start fighting over the berries and eating all of them, and like uh, they just—I think, I think, a, I think some of them get many more berries than they're supposed to, and they just mm-hmm. soon become like covered in eyes. They become eyes. Oh, I think their forms become rarefied as they like, uh, as they like start turning to feathers and eyes and wings and shit like that. It's like one of them turns into an angel, and the people around that angel just turn into dust. <laughs> Followers, we need do to not get Ziggy touch out. the berry. Get away from the guys. Do not berry. Ziggy should be good. I hope Ziggy doesn't follow to the berries. <laughs> I didn't consider that. I I just I just filled up on blue raspberry. I'm good for a while. I've I've already tasted the the greatest like fruit creation. Mm. I'm just kind of moshing. I'm I'm going with the flow. <laughs> I think the I think the moat kind of thins out around you a little bit, and there's no longer a there's no longer such a wealth of guys in there. <laughs> you some you of kinda, them tend to dust. Kind of start clambering your way out. Yeah, actually, quite a lot of them are turning mm-hmm. to dust because a few of them are trying to eat the angel as well, and the angel is kind of inedible. But hopefully, all those people who are getting turned to dust are going to heaven, if that's a possible thing. From here, maybe they're just turning to dust. Maybe they're. Maybe they are. Maybe their spirit is obliterated from this world, never to be seen again. In this time, in this time and place, it's impossible to tell. Great. I think Narcissa is going to point up to uh, Sierra and say, "See, this can't be hell. Otherwise, they wouldn't die. You can't die in hell. Wouldn't be eternal. Couldn't you just like keep dying?" Fair point. Well, they're gone, so clearly not. Well, they might be showing up at the tree again. I not. I don't want to find out. Neither do I. So let's escape, not hell. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You've defeated the guy mode. <laughs> you want to proceed to the great, uh, to the great Give circus up top? Yes. <laughs> let's go. Yes. I want. I want this. Ooh, yeah. Now. Let's see you go over here where there's a uh, people are riding all sorts of animals. Just like a cross between a unicorn and a cat, there's a beautiful uh there's a beautiful thing you might best describe as like a pig antelope. Pig chill. There's a strange owl. Yeah, it's a strange mm-hmm. owl riding on like a <laughs> riding on the horn. It seems to be directing where <laughs> directing the mount on where to go. It's sort of like regulating the traffic from up top. It's uh, it's sort of a self-sustaining circle that all these animals are being let in. Mm-hmm. 
no, just kind of graze it. And they think uh, they think lots of animals are passing you by, and a lot of uh, and a lot of people are, are are passing by and shouting things at you. <laughs> so they're like uh, they're clearly extremely stoked to be in the circle. Yeah, what sort of things are they shouting? Uh, I think it's something like uh, like uh, it's hard to tell because they're like passing you very rapidly. So there's a bit of Doppler effect going uh, going around, but it's uh, it 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 kind of has like a spring break energy in what they're showing. <laughs> <laughs> we're young, we're beautiful. We have a we have a week off. It's <laughs> we're gonna have a great time here. It's like carnival. Yeah. The animals what? seem like they're into it too. Uh, less so. The animals Aww. are mostly like bemused. They don't really know where they're going. Yeah. Except for the owl. The owl is, is clearly a collaborator. <laughs> the owl has secrets. Yeah, the owl stares at you. It is. Uh, it is displeased at your presence. You, you don't have an animal of your own. We have a fish. We have a fish. Search the regards the fish. Hmm. It may permit you to enter on that basis. How fast are they going? Uh, pretty fast. Uh, I think it varies. It depends on, like, uh... I think it like kind of speeds up and then slows down as the animals either like uh, either like get tired or uh, get tired or get a second wind. Okay. It's like a big I, old I... roundabout. At at a certain points, some animals wander out and new animals join in. I look at the owl and I'm like, "What about what about all of them?" And I gesture at our naked followers. Hmm. He all seems to regard them as a valid animal to ride. Not what I meant, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, I guess. Whatever. Yeah, you see, uh, yeah, you see over in the distance. There's like a there. There seems to be sort of a parade float thing happening with a big, big creature being held aloft by a lot of nude people. Yeah. What? Wait, hold on. Over yeah, the it's left. A, yeah, it's over to the left over here. Uh, left. Can uh, someone hold on? I'm gonna just zoom out and can someone ping it? Oh, this thing! Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just somebody else has had that idea before. <laughs> really, the one consp uh, the one very conspicuous thing is the pool in the center, where a lot of people appear to be having a pool party. Those are the ladies of the lake. Yeah. I don't want to get trapped in the circle. I don't want to get trapped in the mosh pit. <laughs> what if we just like kind of go with the flow till we get to the other side? Uh, it's a circle. I like this idea. I don't know, man. I mean, are we trying to require mounts? Yeah, I mean, you can yeah. take followers your followers already. already. I don't. Our followers can hold the fish, and we can all sit on the fish or stand. I, I love this idea, actually. Yeah, this is great. The nun, surprisingly, knows extravagance. Of course I do. I'm Catholic. <laughs> yeah. Um, I see no faults in this plan. Yeah, let's get on this That's fucking fish and get ridden around until we <laughs> find purchase in exiting the loop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, how do you ride the fish exactly? It doesn't really have the capacity to, it doesn't really have the ability to propel itself. So you're gonna oh, need, no, like, the follow is sort of holding it up. Yeah, yeah, it's like oh. a palanquin situation. Okay, yeah, 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 absolutely. Uh, this will um, be, uh, I think this will be like a move check from someone who's coordinating this. Uh, I, I, I get on somebody's backs, like piggyback style, and I say, God is uppies. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. Not solemnly. This is true. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, I mean, if it's a move roll and not a like convince roll, is it like <laughs> like leaning on the surfboard, to, like steer left and right? Yeah. If so I can do it. It's surfing. Mm hmm. 
<laughs> you're serving you're serving in the garden of earthly delights. Mm -hmm. I, I I take a human as a mount, but I do it under the 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 agreement that I will like switch places with them and then they can I can be their mount, you know. As, yeah, as yeah. long as as long as like somebody is mounted, it mounted. seems like we 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 follow the prerequisites to join the yeah, the uppies are equal and reciprocal. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> so it sounds like two separate moves are being made here. There's the uh, there's a surfboard plan. Anybody who wants to can get on the surfboard. And then there's I also think you said the four uh, people couldn't get on the surfboard. <laughs> uh, four people can get on the surf the surfboard. It's it's sort of like one of those things where in the medieval painting, like four people can be on the same horse. <laughs> mm-hmm. Are you talking about this medieval painting yeah, with like five is. people on one camel? Yeah. yeah. For example, for example, in this very medieval <laughs> painting very we're looking at right now. Yeah. <laughs> it is extremely funny to reference the idea of medieval paintings while we are staring at one. <laughs> yes, I'm beginning to realize that's the case. Yeah, this is just us over here. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Except you're being oh. carried like. Uh, actually, mm -hmm. uh, what what's really more the case is what uh, is, is what's oh, going God. on over here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even suggest this. Well, Do we all need to ride like the surfboard gonna... ass up? Yeah. <laughs> well, you're like the little bear on top of that prawn they're carrying. Um, I, it's like yeah. a lobster tail, right? Like. Yeah, I don't know. Or like a cornucopia, something like that. Yeah, it's a, a flower. Cornucopia. It's a cornucopia full of bare <laughs> asses. Is how I can describe mm. it. Why are the asses blue? Is my question. What happened to them? Uh, blue moon. Super, yeah, not oxygen. They're just not getting enough oxygen. There's not enough space in that cornucopia. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you can all go on the. Uh, I think you can all go on the surfboard, and you get plus one die for using the. Uh, the first surfboard, but this is going to be a move check. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So yeah, I think this is isn't being stealthy. It? This is being coordinated. Uh huh. I can, um, but will you? Will you let me? Let me lead. I guess it's the thing. Yeah, whoever leads can decide where you eventually wind up. <laughs> Mr. Narcissa does not see a problem with this plan. Mm -hmm. There's no better place to be than not here. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Grass is always greener on the other side, huh, Narcissa? <laughs> My friends all hate yep. it in the Garden of Earthly Delights. <laughs> it's I'm I, having, a great, having time. a great time. I don't I don't know what she's yeah. freaking out about. <laughs> Yeah, Narcissus is just like a weirdo, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Okay, let's have that roll. Alright. We just got a rank. I'll stop roll. If I'm moving... Six! Okay. <laughs> so you got an entire procession. You joined this uh, lovely procession next to the... <laughs> next to the big cat with the single horn who's like... Uh, who like looks admiringly at your... Uh, at you steering this fish surfboard and carried by humans. I think the... Uh, and the cat looks to you and is like... Damn, that's good. Oh, uh, we got raided. Yeah. By Brad and Ooh. Chad. More uh, followers in our procession. Yeah, we, we just we just joined the procession. Welcome. Welcome. Please Not bad uh, at all. if you can donate. Um Yeah. Donate to medical aid for Palestinians. It's good shit. Mm-hmm. Um and buy a shirt if you'd like. Um, yeah. I don't know how to sponge the shirt link. Um, it's shirt. Wang well, shirt. Get it. Yeah. I see. I cool. See. But yeah. Welcome, welcome to Hieronymus. Welcome to the okay, Garden of Earthly Delights. Yeah. We're currently uh, uppies, just like all our numbers. Yeah. Everybody remember, God is uppies. That's the. <laughs> that's what we. That's. The one religious message we've taken as, from this so far. As uppies, so downsies. As uppies, so downsies. And also to you. <laughs> and with your spirit. And with your spirit. Okay. But yeah. Uh, so. Uh, 
So, Wilbert, you can decide where exactly you want to wind up. I kind of... With everybody else. I kind of want to go towards... Ca- I kind of want to head towards this castle. Oh. <laughs> Which castle? castle? There's, there's quite a few. Up here. There's a ca- yeah, is there another one? So maybe... It it's depends one. what like you castle. count as a castle. Yeah. Oh, that's true. You're right, you're right, you're right. There's also this one. Yeah. I think yeah, there's, there's the like nearer pink castle. There's the nearer mm-hmm. pink one that's over here. Oh, yeah, there's that one over there. Mm-hmm. I think that pink thing might be made of flesh. Maybe. It has blood vessels. Yeah, oh. I'm not a fan of that one. Um, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> oh, it sure does. Yeah. It kind of does look I like that's true. I mean, it might be marble. This one, but we're mm-hmm. probably going to have to cross the river first. Yeah. We can go it's to the closest swimmable. one first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that's the flesh one. <laughs> I mean, on the right. The I think blue. they might. Oh, on the right. Oh, yeah, this one. Yeah, this look. Like... That's like Patrick's house. That's not a castle. <laughs> that's Patrick's <laughs> house. I'm sorry. My bad. Patrick's house is his castle. How dare you? <laughs> Who's under there? Those are monkeys? Patrick. I guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> Okay, you're heading there. Is Patrick a monkey. <laughs> yep. Because I think well, you basically get to do like one or two full circuits of this and uh, mm-hmm. basically get an idea for where you want to go. So if you want to know more about any of these places, <laughs> you can ask me. I, I wave towards the, the lake ladies. What are they up to? I think the lake ladies uh I think the I think the lake ladies pay you no mind, but I think the uh I, or actually, no, they do pay you some mind, but first the bird looks at you, and then the birds just kind of move their legs inside of the la- oh, over the ladies' heads, and then the ladies, like puppets, move to look at you. <laughs> oh, are the birds, like, <laughs> controlling the ladies? <laughs> yeah, you're getting that feeling. <clears throat> uh-huh. hmm. What about the apples? Uh, the apples don't seem to have an obvious way of controlling that's the ladies. How the ladies that's how the ladies get the birds to come control them, hmm. obviously. Oh... Uh... The bird lands, and then all of a sudden, it's, it's got to control the body. Yeah. Maybe eventually the maybe the apple hatches into a bird eventually. Oh. Mm-hmm. Also. I feel like this peacock lady is like the leader. Yeah, the peacock lady mm-hmm. is. Uh, I think the peacock lady throws you an apple as a sign of her favor. Oh, I do not catch it. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll catch take it. this apple. <laughs> For real, you can have the apple. This pig yeah, okay. here looks like it's lost. <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. It has no mount. It, it has no rider. Oh, its rider must so have disappeared little. somewhere. It's like, where the fuck am I? Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> We've all been there hey. on the roundabout. Mm-hmm. When we pass the pink castle, can we tell if it's flesh? That's a good question. Um. Uh, well. Uh, flesh, but it might be flesh, but the question is flesh of what? So true. I'm always asking this. <laughs> it's probably not human flesh. It's not like, uh, it pro- it's probably not even animal flesh. It looks kind of maybe fruity. It looks vaguely suggestive. It has a lot of like these little glass cylinders going through it, but there's a, uh, and there's like, uh, it could be like a rare pink marble. You don't know that. It's probably and is, not. What is be, marble too... but a flesh of the earth? Yeah. <laughs> so true. These questions and more occupy your mind as you regard it on, like, two circuits. <laughs> you can't tell if it's... Uh, you can't You can't tell if it's flesh. It's safe to say it's a uh, flesh of some kind. I just noticed all the people but, but... that are underneath the strawberry and going into or out of the egg... Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, do you want to? Do you want to That's go the strawberry into... cult and the egg cult? Oh. Do you want to go into the lagoon and fall into the uh, and fall into the water, or do you want to go to Patrick's house over over nearby? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we gotta go to Patrick's house. I mean, yes, we gotta it's go to Patrick's where he lives. I... It's just there's like two armies by the flesh house by the flesh castle, and I'm. I'm worried about those. Every time we've seen a yeah. mob of people, it's been unfortunate for us, except for this circle. Oh my god, there's yeah. seal people. Wait, hold on. Yeah. yeah. Selkies? Yeah. 
Yeah, behind the flesh uh-huh. castle. Yeah, they're all waiting in line to feed a, a fish a berry. Oh, yeah. They're offering some treats to a fish. Yeah, of course. And there's like a xenomorph <laughs> looking thing. Oh no, I guess yeah. that's the, I guess that's the fish that seal people. <laughs> Honestly, many more things. There are more things on heaven and earth than your feeble philosophy can account for. True. Anyway, you're here at Patrick's house. A murder. <laughs> Patrick's house. Okay. There's a lot of like. Uh, I think a lot of a lot of what you're seeing here is like guys running around on all fours, and their heads are kind of like. Uh, you ever see like a shrew up close? Yeah. It's kind of like that. Is what's going on with their faces? I like, didn't think these were humans. With, like very small beady eyes. They're kind of human shaped, but not they really were monkeys. human. Yeah, they're shrew- yeah, but they're no, shrew- no, they're also now. not really shaped like apes or anything. Yeah, pretty they're apes. Like. They're more like a pig or a rodent or something. Okay. <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> I guess yeah, we get all kinds of new things in, in the, the the splendor exactly. of God's creation. Yeah, I think they're all. I think they're all having a great time in there. They're like forming a little colony inside of the inside of Patrick's house, and they are uh, they are speaking intently on some sort of uh, some sort of important matter. From the sound of it, it's getting really heated in there. How do you all know Patrick? How do we know Patrick? <laughs> we just you look like... at this. You look at this building, and you just know it is Patrick's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, one of them looks at you and says, You know Patrick? Where have you seen him? Tell us. Is is Patrick not home? No. We've been looking for him. We have matters to bring to his attention. Are any of you Patrick? Are they good matters? Should one of us be Patrick? I'm thinking about it. The like wise you... eyes uh, searchingly look over at you, searching for Patrick among you. I feel like if you pretend to be Patrick, that might be a problem. I think they knew who Patrick is. I mean, they don't sound like they have good intentions. I don't think intentions. you can fool anyone here. They can I do a, like, Patrick. analyze to figure out if they like <laughs> Patrick? <laughs> 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 okay. That'd be great. Can they get a vibe of whether these guys can I, like Patrick? Can I vibe check how they feel about Patrick? <laughs> yeah, good idea. Um, uh, yeah, this is like an analyze. I think I think you I think you don't really know who Patrick is, so it's gonna be of reduced effectiveness. Okay, you're gonna get a vague sense, but you're not gonna you're gonna you're gonna maybe get like a uh, you know. Wheel or woe on whether pretending to be Patrick is a good idea. Yeah, but yeah. maybe not how they actually feel about Patrick. Okay. Oh. Okay, a that's five. a five. It's okay. You absolutely should not at any point pretend to be Patrick. It's not going <laughs> to end well for you. <laughs> <laughs> but I think they look at you. Uh, but I think they look at you and like uh, they notice your thoughtful expression and are like, "Are you Patrick?" Uh, no, no. You're not Patrick. No, I'm what Fabian. Happens? When did you last see him? Um, I don't know. It's been a while. In a dream. We also saw him in the dream. Didn't didn't Patrick turn into an angel? Was that was that who turned into an angel? Patrick turned into an angel. Probably. That would make him Saint Patrick. That's not how saints work. No. Tell they us call me saint. die first. Well, but we might all be dead here. I refuse to engage with this line of thinking. Don't be a fool. None of us are dead. Sorry, my bad. 
I mean, I was crucified. We met another guy that died here. Hmm. Are you sure they died? Oh, is it like so dying is like a way to get here, but you can get here other ways? Well, no. How did you See, get here? Here at the uh Oh, we have a theory. And I think and I think one of these I think one of these little guys leans in closer to you says, We have a theory, and it's not that's not us who died. It's Patrick. And it's the died? world that died. Hmm. What? What yeah. does that mean? And it's the end of everything. Damn, that sucks. We think it's Patrick's fault. <laughs> We've all turned up at this house to end his life as retribution. <clears throat> Have you found any Hold evidence on. of this in this house? No, which is why we turned to you. Seems he's vacated in a hurry. Hold on, what do you mean the end of everything? What are you Probably wait? Patrick we're glossing over this. something. It's fucked up of Patrick to do this. It is. We've trashed the whole place. Found no sign of him. The whole well, place. we'll keep an eye out. Shall we continue? <laughs> Don't leave the garden. We may have further questions for you later. Of course. Oh. World? Are they cops? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here, guys. Hmm. Yeah. Do you guys think that they were legit? Do you think that they that the world's that it's really? Oh yeah. At this at this, at this point, I'm accepting all all yeah. conjectures. But I want to find out to see if we can leave or not. Why would they lie to us? Well, yes, yeah, there's, good, there's a lot of reasons to lie. <laughs> they can also just be wrong. Yeah, it seems like yeah, a, yeah. Ob objectivity is is relative here. Yeah, yeah, it is pretty relative. I think as you, I think as you turn away from Patrick's house because it's kind of full in there, you see that one of these creatures is following you along, and you all take one stress from the way it's looking at all of you. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, we got the bad vibes monkeys following us now. Yeah. <laughs> Can I ask just, monkey just the for one. the name? <laughs> Like he looks at you and says, I don't see why you need to know that. Well, if we're, is, we're... is the berry lady still around? I... The berry lady is still around. Can I hit another berry and open up a fifth eye? I'm getting kind of sick of this shit. <laughs> you already have a fifth eye open. Oh, okay, sick. Pace yourself. Okay. I do, I do, I do, I do stuff of the, the, the voluptuous berry some more, though. Oh, yeah. Okay. Then uh, clear 1d6 stress. <laughs> I love how this is like fucking Calvin Ball. Yeah. <laughs> the only it's rule is that rules are lights. What do you think it was gonna be like? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Should I try to name this true Patrick? Since I've apparently oh. named things before. <laughs> you clear one stress and another eye opens oh, up on your hand. Delightful. On which side of the hand? Yeah. Uh, the side that's not the palm. Yeah. Okay, the back of the hand. I forget what the top of the. I forget what the top of your hand is called, but it's on that side. Also, it's like a triforce, but it's an eye. Also, the thing is, because of the way that your hand is oriented, you realize that you're now perpetually looking up. God is uppies. And I think you're getting. God is uppies. But you realize that the sky is not up; it's actually down. It's like it's sort of like how it's sort of like how you're how if you wear glasses that make the world look upside down, your brain will start to correct for it. You begin to yeah. realize that that is what's kind of happening to you, and it's momentarily reversed as your as another eye opens on you, where you realize that this place is literally upside down, and you didn't know until now. Yeah, I, I look solemnly at my my comrades and say, "Huh, maybe the devil's downsies." I. A harsh and terrified whisper spreads through the congregation. Maybe the devil's downsies. <laughs> the devil's downsies. Damn. 
Well, as, let's keep going. As there's downsies, there's. But as there's downsies, yeah. there's you know. But as as it is downsies, so it is uppies. He's got uppies. Uh, One of them looks at you desperately. That's yes. philosophy. We don't need to worry about that. We're just going uppies. That's where God is. We don't need to think about downsies. Devil's not um not our problem. Okay, they seem relieved. <laughs> cool. Glad I cleared that up. <laughs> He'll give you thumbs up. <laughs> I just said this this guy. <laughs> Which guy? This the guy. guy on the fish. Oh, the guy riding on the fish? Right next to yeah. Patrick's house. Just... Ass yeah. ass forward as he rides the fish. <laughs> Yeah, it seems. Uh, yeah, it seems fish riding is a very developed sport out here. You see, like, uh, you see, like, some people riding on like what might be like a seashell. There's quite a few. Just quite a few people riding fish. There's a lot quite of a few people, people in there. you know. <laughs> you even see like a fish person who's riding a fish over here. Oh, and what is this? This creature. Like a little armadillo friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like, a, kind of, like um, a beetle. It's like a bugadillo. Yeah, it's giving, it's giving questing beast vibes. Can we go over to it? Incredible bugadilla out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think you have to fish, so it's not that difficult for you to cross bodies of water anymore. So I think you can pretty <laughs> easily go over to where the bugadilla is, and it's just kind of, uh, and it's just kind of, it's just kind of resting in place until it sees you. At which point, it like immediately skitters around with inhuman speed and looks and looks over at you and uh, it looks over at you with puzzlement. Hello. Hi. Oh, God. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Hi. <laughs> oh, have you had a bit too much of that uh, dry juice? <laughs> mm, yeah, a little bit. How about you? You been hitting the dry juice yourself? I had some, That's and nice. it made me too dry. So I stopped. So he stopped in time. Yeah. Wait. I'm completely dry. I don't actually have lungs anymore. I just have trachea. What? Did you used to be like us? Mm hmm I used to have blood. Not anymore. That's not exactly what I meant. <laughs> what did you mean? You know, like, uh... A uh, human. Okay. Interesting concept. What's a human? What we are? are okay. You not. What are you? Oh. Well, I don't really know what I am. I think that I think the uh, I think at this point I've lost all self knowledge. Say, could I have one of those fruits? No. Do you want this? And I held out the apple. <laughs> the apple? <laughs> he looks at the apple. Uh, I think he looks at the apple, and uh, you know, you, you know, the, you know what's about to happen. It's about to eat it right out of your hand without asking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you let it happen? Sure. Uh, you take two stresses. It's uh, mandibles <laughs> close around your hand and eat the apple oh, right off no. it. I have six stress now. Uh, I didn't expect it to have mandibles. Oh, no. It's a bugadilla. Of course they have mandibles. It's a bugadilla. <laughs> it's like you've never seen a bugadilla before. What? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. fuck. oh, shit. I'm sorry. I, you know. Um... I'm a city girl, so I don't see a lot of bugadillas out in the wild. <laughs> hey, HB, can you remind me what thick stress means again? Uh, you are impaired. You take minus one die now. Okay. To everything. <laughs> Unless you indulge some sins and clear some of that stress. <laughs> yeah, go, go. I, 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 I should introduce you to my, uh, my berry friend. Your very good friend. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. The bugadilla is still, by by the way, still latched onto your hand. Oh, <laughs> oh god! Its eyes have dilated completely. They are uh, they grow larger and larger with each passing moment. Maybe we shouldn't let him have more blood. 
Can I get the uh, buggy Dang dealer on. off my hand? Yes, but only if you ask politely. Uh, excuse me, friend. Can you please let go? Oh, I see. Sorry. You shouldn't bite <laughs> the hand go. that feeds you, I think. Oh! Where'd you hear that? I don't remember. Hmm. It doesn't sound very convincing. I like biting, though. You can bite the apple. Well, I mean, you did that. Okay. Hmm. I did already eat the apple, I suppose. I feel like I know much more about myself for having eaten it. That's good. I hope the birds don't mind. I feel pretty good about myself now. I can now con conclusively say that I am indeed a bugadillo, and that I am, like some of you, nude. Whoa. Do you have a name? Wow, thanks. Do I have a name? Hmm. I don't think I do. Or at least I used to. But it's not really, it's not really my name anymore. Whose name I've is it? I've rejected it. Oh. Eh, some guys, I suppose. Was your name Patrick? <gasps> he looks at you with a dawning comprehension. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Is that your house? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> he, looks at this, he looks at the house. That is my beautiful house. Don't go there. They want you dead. Fuck! <laughs> I think you see. I think you see the little. Uh, I think you see the little uh, little weird rodent snitch that's been following you along. Already yeah. going back to report on them. They are going to be here forthwith. Can anyone stop them? Patrick? Did did you cause the end of the world? I maybe. I feel like I contributed. Why don't we uh, Are you... you know, make for these trees here? Maybe we can scatter and confuse them. Okay, which trees? Which trees in particular would you be referring to? This little forest okay. right next to the bugadilla. Oh yeah, yeah. I think uh, he looks at the forest. It's like real idea. Let's hide. <laughs> yeah. Who wants to lead this effort at hiding? <laughs> I'll 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 stay behind. And and let people kind of go past me, and I'll, I'll I'll try to keep them busy if they come back. Okay, I mean you can do like uh, you can do like a uh, let's say a convince to try and uh, try and serve as an adequate distraction. I start putting on a little show where I start like carving things out of out of wood. <laughs> Incredible! You can the best. Well, distraction. I don't have any of my tools though. I don't have any of my tools now, though, so I imagine that I'm just, like, opening up all of my eyes and, like, taking a piece of wood and just trying to, like, magically transform it into another thing. It's surprisingly effective. <laughs> Wait, you can just oh, do cool. Tinker, right? Yeah, I was about to say, that, that means I don't have to roll. Yeah, yeah, okay. So that's, like, a, so that's like a free plus one die to whoever wants to hide Patrick in the woods. I'm happy to. Yeah. Oh, I know what it is. I I, I made one of I, I made a creature like Patrick out of wood, and I'm trying to convince them all that it is Patrick. Yeah, yeah. I think the uh, I think the I think the guys from Patrick's house all get together and start kicking the shit out of this wooden figure. Yeah. Oh, maybe I shouldn't <laughs> leave the hide. I have a minus one. I'm impaired. I yeah, am the sneaky you're one. The... Yeah. <laughs> Sneaking in the woods. Come on, it'll be great. Oh, we we need to get you. Uh, w on that that blue raspberry kick. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Don't do that. Who? Do not do that. The, the, the blue yeah, raspberry no one, that no makes you less stressed. No one needs to be on the blue raspberry. No one needs to be blue. My raspberry lips are right blue now. at this point. Let's hide Patrick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tongue is blue. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh god. Uh yeah. I mean, give me that move. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Show me your moves. This is like three dice plus one more because of uh, because of the successful oh, yeah. distraction. Slash roll. Does it help? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's like slash roll uh, slash yeah, yeah, R, I, just didn't I put a, Yeah, I just didn't put a space. That was my problem. Okay, yeah. <gasps> Two sixes! Oh, that's a crit! Right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow. Okay, yeah. I think you I think you lead Patrick into the woods and Patrick is like uh and Patrick goes, Alright, I think we're far enough. <laughs> and turns to and turns to uh you know, who who came along with Patrick? Is it like is it like everybody else? Yeah. Who isn't uh who isn't Ziggy? I think so. Sister Narcissa has some fucking questions. <laughs> yeah. I think I think Patrick stops and so looks at you and says, "My self knowledge tells me you have questions." Mm -hmm. So, so, so the world is really world really ended. Mm. Signs point to yes. What There's some thick one stress. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, the fact that the sun is no longer in the sky, the fact that nothing makes sense anymore, the fact that there is, uh, the fact that neither, the fact that the laws of God and man have temporarily been suspended and that we are reenacting, uh, reenacting all sorts of Edenic, uh, uh, a lot, a lot of Edenic stuff is basically happening here, which means that, uh, either we have returned to a prelapsarian state or this is the, or these are the death throes of a, of a, of a, of a dying world. Well, everyone's been very purposeful to not call this Earth, so why should this be Earth at this point? I mean, yeah. I don't think it is Earth. It's just Earth. At least whatever remains of it. Then the world didn't end. No, the world definitely ended. <laughs> what, how did you end the world? What did you do? Hold on. What did you do? Hmm. I can't say I remember exactly what I did, but I think, uh, but I think I may have undermined the. I think I may have undermined the concept of royalty, or done something like that. You know, unsettled the great <sighs> chain of being. That surely couldn't have done it. Well, not and love. God you know, decided to punish all of us for that. Well, no, it's more that just uh, it's more it. just things just kind of fell apart. The world's a bit janky, actually. Can I have grown like angel wings and like caught up with everybody else? Yeah, I think at this, <laughs> at this point all of you. At this point, Patrick is just. Uh, I think Patrick has stood up on like uh, on like its uh, hind legs and it has like a it's like a horrible little insect underbelly that's showing to you. Yeah, <laughs> great. I descend down as my angel wings flap. Oh, did Hello? you do a little blasphemy, Patrick? Oh, I did a lot of blasphemy. Blasphemy was one of my favorite things to do. What was your favorite way to blaspheme? That's like the. Yeah. Uh, I like to, uh, I like to, you know, undermine the. As much as I like to undermine royalty, I also like to undermine God. Mm, mm. That'd do it. But, but that's God. Yeah. Are our followers here with us? Yeah, they're all here. I think they're also all, all the hearing this and some of them are crying. <laughs> I think I, I turn to the followers and I'm like, all right, guys, go home. No, no, God. Hold on, hold on. No, hold wait on, a minute. Don't... I need a berry first. <laughs> <laughs> I think the woman stops and gives you like a, gives you like a blueberry. <laughs> Yay. I'm gonna eat it. I... Don't do it. <laughs> Vivian, I, clear from I, lick... <laughs> yeah. I lick my blue lips and address the audience. I know change can be terrifying, but birth is change, death is change. They say the only constant is change. So if we just accept our place in the tumults in the, the flow, in the currents of creation, then I think we'll all be just fine. Woo! Okay. <laughs> I think a few of them go like, uh, also go like, woo! Yeah! <laughs> anyway, Fabian, I, uh, I think a third eye opens on your chin. Oh. 
suddenly you're always looking down and you realize that the and you realize that the bottom of the uh and you realize that the that like you know the grassy ground you're looking at is uh, littered with the hands of the dead reaching up. Oh. Uh. It's, hmm. it, it's kind of it's kind of hidden in there. It's like uh, it's like little oh, mushrooms yeah. hidden in the grass, but they're definitely human fingers. Horrid. Oh my god! Horrid. You feel that something is closing in fast. <laughs> we should get out of here. Absolutely. We haven't gone to the right yet. Let's just go to the right. <laughs> you want to go to the right from the Bugadilla <laughs> Forest? <clears throat> Doesn't yeah. even matter, because I'm, I guess God's dead or whatever. I know, God isn't dead. Or if God is dead, then God still dreams. What? Shit, man. Doesn't Maybe help we me. we were all God all along. Anyway, I feel like you I feel like I owe you something for your incredible help. You seem pretty upset. I think I think Patrick looks to Narcissa. <laughs> yeah, I'm upset. <laughs> okay, come here, I'll tell you something. But only you. Narcissa leans in real close. Uh Patrick whispers in your ear the secret of life and death. What? Add it to your inventory. <laughs> Thank what? You. <laughs> now I'm very upset. I hid you, Patrick, and I don't get a reward. Come on. Whatever. Whatever. No need to. Last the... Ask their sister to tell you. Mm. It will right. devalue the secret, however. Mm. Ooh. That is how it goes. It's a really yeah. good secret, so I'm going to hold on to this. And yeah, hold on to it and later. deploy it at the exact right moment. Mm hmm. Then give me some of your coin. Give me your purse of coins. No. Oh, mine. you want gold? It'll end up being. It'll end up being mine, no matter what. You still owe me then. <laughs> I'll give you one beautiful berry. <laughs> I'm not sure gold means anything in this That's this true. world. I'll take the berry. Hmm. Sounds like the main also, currency our... is love. <laughs> Did mm. did our followers leave? Or are they still kicking? Someone it? did tell them to. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a few of them left. I think no, I, and then I tried to tried to get them. Yeah, you tried on. to win them back. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think on balance you lost a few, but uh, but quite a few of them, uh, but quite a few of them stayed, mostly for lack of anywhere better to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I think they're beginning to realize that things are getting kind of fucked up out here. That's so true. You you feel the caress of dead man's fingers on your uh, on your uh, <laughs> on your on your legs as you walk. Let's m keep moving. Where Let's you want to go? To the right. Yeah, I think you trek through the Bugadillo Forest until you come to an open field where there's like processions of people. This time, not really riding animals, going out. Uh, like going around and uh, going around and preparing for something. Like there's a real sense of people walking out of the forest with like flowers and stuff like that for like, you know, stuff like weaving reeds or doing stuff like that. And you see one of them kind of raising up like a twig on which a uh, on which a uh, on which a bird sits with like a like a really long and sharp beak as it just kind of uh as it just kind of yells out the god is dead oh the damn i guess god, god is, is dead. dead yeah no no don't worry about it i know the secrets of life and death god is hell dead. yeah brother and i give them the the hang loose sign <laughs> i think the uh i think the bird looks to you and says and says god isn't dead yeah Holy fuck! This is important news. Right? What happened to him? Uh, He's it's sleeping? complicated. Dreaming. Cool! Damn! I really I really needed to hear that today. Thank you. Thank you! No, thank hey. you! Hey, by the way, Mr. Bird, it's over yeah. there. And I 
point in the direction of bad things. Yeah, you kind of hear a distant screaming from that direction. <laughs> I think the bird looks over there and says, uh, Oh, that? That's the future. What? Oh. What? That's one way to think about it, I guess. Why does it sound like screaming? People are really excited. Oh, oh okay. The future's great. <laughs> Heck yeah. They don't really sound like excited screams. Maybe that's just how excited they are. I, they're so excited that we're hitting the uh, they're hitting the borderline between between pleasure and pain. Some would say that's the ultimate form of experience, Christ-like almost. Oh. Um. Okay, thanks. What's your name? <laughs> Glad well, to help. Like get crucified again. <laughs> It's been beautiful talking to you. Do, you. do you want me to start screaming something else? Because I, I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to be screaming lies. You could scream God's name. Uh, yeah. Mm. Cool. Wonderful. Raise me up, and then it gets screaming at the top of its lungs. <laughs> God's not dead. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got really big lungs. I need to be clear about this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like an ear-splitting shriek of God's not that. <laughs> Talk. Speaking of ear-splitting, what's up with the screams? <laughs> you want to keep going to the right and find out? <laughs> of course, I want to go to the right. All right. So I think I think before we head over, I think right, uh, go. I gotta I gotta take out this compass and steer into the Calvin ball of it all. I'm gonna smear this red berry on it and write like exit where north should be on this compass and try to make it like fit to the conformity of this because north south east west isn't gonna help us at all with this with this thing. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to yeah. tinker on this compass to make it actually useful. You sure you don't want it to be to like? Do we really have to go this way? <laughs> yeah, I mean uppies. Yeah, that's true. Uppies is what I was gonna say. No, no, no. Uppies has failed but... us. We need exit. Yeah, yeah, we need exit. We need exit. What's okay. The it sounds like you're tinkering. <laughs> yeah, it double. does sound like I'm tinkering. I got one of those. Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> what's um? What's the devil's bargain on this? <laughs> <laughs> what's the devil's bargain on this? Uh, we're about to visit his house. I think that I think that the devil's bargain is that your compass will start to talk. <laughs> that does add up. That's great. Um, honestly. Sure. Yeah. Let's roll. That's Worth a five. It. Worth it. <laughs> yeah, I think it starts. Uh, I, so good news is, you paint the uh, you paint the word exit on the compass, <laughs> and the word just kind of starts uh, melting along the uh, melting along the face of the compass and becomes part of it as it uh, bends and twists into your hands into like. A compass that has uh, directions uh, such as death, exit, use, uh, kingship, that sort of thing. <laughs> kingship? Yeah, mm. kingship. Kingship mm. is absolutely okay. there. But mm -hmm. it is pointing, uh, and I think there's an, well, there's an alarming thing here, which is that it is decidedly not pointing uppies. Oh. Exit is not uppies. It is still okay. pointing, yeah. uh, it, does it does have God and it's still pointing up. So God might be uppies. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> but exit seems to be more like uh mostly righties and a little bit downies. Mm -hmm. Downsies? Yeah. Downsies, yeah, that's the correct. Uh... Yeah. Regrettably we do have to go this way. Go to the snakes, everybody. At least it's not lefties, because left left is the evil direction in medieval times. Yeah. As we all know. Hey. Satan's direction. I say, holding it with my left hand. <laughs> Having written exit in my left hand. Uh, I'm sorry but... that you're the spawn of Satan. I don't know what to tell you. Well. <laughs> Nothing to be done about it. <laughs> Nothing to be done about it. Shouldn't have written with your left hand. Hey, we can't, we can't choose who our dad is, you know? Wow. Yeah. yeah. So many good messages. I gesture at my angelic nature. 
Mm-hmm. Your I dad didn't do that to you, man. That that was the berries. <laughs> <laughs> she could have been their dad. What? Yeah, aren't you fed your father all the time? <laughs> the 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 berry lady. <laughs> the berry um, lady looks up and goes like, I guess I could be someone's dad if I really tried. See? Okay. Hey, we're all we're all going with the flow here. Anybody can be whatever they want. Yeah. Amen. I don't want to be your dad, but like it could happen if uh if you know I really put my mind to it. We 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 flirted too much for you to be my dad. <laughs> True. You know, fair. Fair. I didn't want to introduce that. I I'm sorry, I didn't want to introduce that energy. I feel like we have a I feel like we have a mutual appreciation for blue raspberry that makes us very good friends, maybe something more, depending on what time of day it is. <laughs> May not be your dad. Could be your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go okay. to the future. Yeah. Yeah. Towards the screaming. The future is bright. How do you go to the future? The future's not... I hate to tell you this, but the future does not seem bright. (laughs) Done. (laughs) In fact, I think... uh, In fact, I think the shape that this takes is that uh, you're going along this plane, and I don't think it really changes in shape as such. Or, like, like, nothing really changes, like, in in what you're seeing ahead of you. But you are, you know, winding up like somewhere over here, and you see that uh, as night night begins to fall, uh, many of the trees begin to sh- shape themselves into like mills and buildings and such. The processions of people preparing for celebrations begin to begin to resemble war parties. Uh, the sort of feeling of the uh, I guess it's like the setting sun, except there's no sun. There's just like the a sunset without a sun is such a strange thing to behold. But uh, that oh. the sunset stops being like you know sunlight and begins begins to resemble distant fires, signal fires. In fact, like things being lit to like illuminate that this is uh, you know some kind of bad place, probably. <laughs> hmm. Even though I lost my lantern, can my body sort of glow? Uh, no. I have a tinderbox. <laughs> I think I have enough eyes that you I can sort of see in the dark. But yeah, let's light some candles. Yeah. I, think I was hoping that... that I was achieving some sort of divinity through the consumption of blue raspberry. No, that's not. That's decidedly not what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what I think is happening, though. Yeah, you think... would. Um, Sister Narcissa is telling everyone, all right, uh, telling the congregation, okay, this is going to be scary. Everyone, we're going to use buddy systems, so make sure that you and your buddy are holding hands. Don't lose your buddy okay. and don't get lost. Who's everyone's okay. buddy? Everybody gets one buddy, and that's mm-hmm. how we will, um, you know, that's how we'll get out. Yeah, one of them is. Uh, I think one of. The, I think they all start holding hands, and uh, it takes maybe like five minutes for uh, one of them holding a hand to look at the hand they're holding and realizing it's a. It's like a dismembered hand. The rest of it. The rest of the person that had it is missing. Oh no, uh, that's not a buddy. Yeah, it's not. I guess I should find a new buddy then. Yeah. Can they be your buddy? No. Oh. <laughs> no. Who is our sister? Yeah, who is your buddy? Can you tell me? God. <gasps> Can God be my buddy? I mean, yeah. It's, well, okay, so it's complicated. You're about to so, your system. <laughs> how much do you understand about the Holy Trinity? <laughs> Not a lot, to be honest. I think they keep it that way on purpose. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, God's all of our buddies, um, but mostly me. I don't think that's. Oh. I don't think that's how that works. Well, can you put in a no, good word well, for me? I'm the one who read the Bible, so. Anyway, we got to get out of here. Yeah, because there seems to be a war party coming your way from beyond, and they are very much fully clothed and armored, and they are uh, they are they have really sharp weaponry. Okay, we got to go like fast. 
Where? Um, can we, can, hey, so, okay, so we can see, we, the we can see the tree man. But can we see the tree man? Wait, which the tree man? The tree man is pretty big. You can see him. This guy. So, oh, the tree man. I understand mm -hmm. now. I feel like the tree man's safest, big air quotes on safest place to go. Mm -hmm. He at least yeah. has the high ground. <laughs> <laughs> I walk towards this army ear. and say, "Oh, uh, I think, uh, I think, when, I think, I think, as soon as you say tree man, your compass starts uh, starts yelling, tree man, tree man, tree man, tree man." A new direction appears on it saying tree man. I walk towards the, the charging army and I, I, I put up my hands and say, children, put down your weapons. We must choose peace over violence. Uh, a crossbow bolt impacts you in the chest. Take two strands. <laughs> oh no. I, <laughs> I don't know Ow. if they're going to listen. that we need to go Ziggy Ziggy I don't think that you're yeah, we're going <laughs> Zig we're leaving I'm gonna can, I, can I try to do a miracle dagger. can I try to uh... <laughs> I pull the arrow out and I start like molding it into something else I, I turn it into a little heart <laughs> okay uh, I think so I think this is. Uh, I think this. I think you ultimately still need to convince them. <laughs> okay. And this is going to be like reduced effectiveness. This is going to bemuse them rather than convince them, unless you push yourself to make it more effective. I am going to push myself to make it more effective. I. Okay. Hmm. I could possibly help. But. Does that still mean that I roll one die though? Is it like forged yeah. in the dark where the yeah. the it's exactly like Force in the Dark, not. Devin. Okay. Uh, can I get a Devil's Bargain, too, then? Uh, mm, can mm. I help by, like, throwing gold at them? <laughs> you know what? It couldn't hurt. Let's say yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I think... Uh, ooh. Nice. Damn. Okay, you get a six. I think you, I think you form it into a heart, and like the, and like the interesting thing is that, uh, uh, like the heart is bloody, and also there's blood gushing out of your wound because you're not supposed to, you know, pull out and pull out a bolt from a wound. That's going to cause additional damage. It's fine. I'm, I'm an angel now. My this, this body is only temporary. Mm -hmm. It's becoming more temporary by the second, it seems. But it's, uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think the war party stops stops in place and considers your heart and like, uh, and I think looks at you looks at you thoughtfully. They're like enough, pe uh, enough people have told me that I'm the Messiah that I've started to believe it. So it, this yeah. is fine. You see the lightless eyes behind their uh, behind, behind their uh, and their strangely sharp and weird looking helmets, and uh, I think they and I think they seem to be on the verge of realizing something about themselves before uh, before Fabian throws them some money and uh, any moral <laughs> compunctions that they had about uh, you know not doing anything for free disappear. And they're like, okay, we're <laughs> we we accept your terms. We're yours Wonderful. now. Follow us, follow us into a new age of peace. Yeah. Who do you need us to kill? God. You need to kill the the, the violent soul within your own heart. Mm. But, um, but also, if anyone tries to kill us, then you can kill them. Cool. Yeah, but try love that. first. Mm. But like pretty quickly after, swords also. Yeah, will work. like figure it out fast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think you can retain our services for a little bit with this much gold. Nice. That sounds fun. Uh, Onwards to the wizard. Yeah, which way do you go? Downsies? Down and right? <laughs> to the... To, to what downsies, the downsies, downsies, downsies. Yeah, we have yeah, to go through the, the ear, ear splitting, uh, Yeah, the north. ear... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As upsies, so downsies. Let's go. 
Mm-hmm. Oh god, you go downsies. You have to like go down some ladders, and it's uh, it's a uh, it's quite an awkward process. They like uh, like the these mercenaries who you've now hired they sort of uh they sort of get to work constructing a bridge over this incri- or this horrible chasm that's filled with human corpses <laughs> and Damn. you see a uh, you see yeah what can only be described as like i mean i'm going to i'm going to tell it like it is it's two pairs of humongous human ears with a knife between them pinned together with an arrow i'm glad somebody said it yeah, yeah. somebody had to yeah and there's like, uh, and I think it's, uh, a guy I think it in is there. making a noise, but yeah, there's a guy in there. Yeah, Several guys, actually. <laughs> you, you, there's nowhere where there isn't guys. That's true. I think That's from true. the, uh, I think from the little folds of the ears, little guys are emerging, forming like little, forming strange little creases. The strange little creases in the ears seem to just spontaneously evolve weird little guys. Who come out of there and like uh who come out of there and occasionally pick up like will pick up like a person from the ground and pull them into the ears. Hmm. Uh the knife and the knife looks uh, like the sharpest thing you've ever seen. Like air along it seems to like it seems to be subtly splitting uh, splitting whatever makes up the air because there's like uh, there's like just a constant little uh, there's like a constant feeling of shimmering danger about the edge of the blade it um, looks like you could cut anything if it really wanted to damn can I can I pick up a rock and throw it at the yeah. cool sword uh the rock uh it doesn't even split in half, it splits four ways. That's how sharp this knife is. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Damn. Hell yeah. It's weird because the knife is obviously chipped and yet so sharp. Yeah. Damn. The chip is actually well, the sharpest the spot. Yeah. Fuck. I think uh, I think a little I, I think one of these dark demon like fellows uh, emerges and uh, emerges from between the ears and uh, and kind of straddles the knife and moves forward and says uh, says ah I see you're admiring the knife hi it's pretty cool what's good welcome to the future is this the only future. Uh, it's the best one. This is the best one? I don't think that's... Yeah. According to uh, who? For who? Well, me, for one. Okay. okay. Look at this sick-ass knife! <laughs> yeah. It's a good knife. <laughs> You're it's more of an ear knife than an ass knife. To be fair. Mm. Look at this sick ear knife. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. It used to... It used to be an ass knife, and we just kind of updated it a little bit, made it a little sharper. Mm, you, did you? Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, uh, I've, I've worked here for a long time. I'm sorry. I just uh, all habits and then sneak into my uh, sneak into my habits. So, what do you need cut? Can this knife cut? Uh... Yeah. <sighs> okay, but we don't need that though. No, I was you? just curious. I feel like there's I feel like there's not a lot of god to go around, so you might as well, you know, like split it equally. That's a great idea. Curiosity, very dangerous. Very dangerous. So dangerous. Um, curious. Yeah. Well, can you, can you cut, cut us a path to God? <laughs> Whoa. Mm. Mm, yeah. Or like out. Or exit. Yeah, just out. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. For real? You want to cut? You want us to cut to cut you a path to God? Or to exit? It's a, it's a back or to home. Exit. It's a home. You know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I think, uh, and, and I think the cre- I think the creature, not quite a human. But it's like, it, as, you, as you look at it, it's like uh, it's sort of like uh, it's, it's human-like, certainly, but not quite. I think it. Uh, I think it just crow. I think. I think it crawls back in. You hear it bellow some sort of order to everybody else. And I think it starts to. Uh, I think the knife begins to like slowly and imperceptibly move. 
as like it, it's like it sort of starts cutting something you can't even see. Hmm. And I'm going to tick, and I think you start. Oh, no. uh, I think you start feeling the uh -oh. garden begin to shake a little bit, including the future. As I'm going to take another tick on the follower clock, and I think all of you take one stress as you feel the uh, oh. as like sort of the pressure in your ears just kind of pops. How are you doing on that clock? Uh, Half three ticks four. left. <laughs> Halfway. You feel like a pressure start to build up in your ears, and then suddenly drop as there's a kind of uh, there's a kind of feeling. Uh, I think you suddenly start feeling like a, an ac an acute absence of God in your soul. <laughs> I kind of wish I had clothes now. Yeah, you're, you're yeah. beginning to feel maybe a little ashamed of your words and deeds. A coldness assails you as the knife continues to cut. Um, I think I, uh, I think we're we're good actually on the knife. They don't seem to be able to hear you in there. Oh. Uh, no. A terrible noise is beginning to assail your ears. You realize you need to shout even for each for you to hear each other. Knock it over. Push the ears. Push the ears over. Someone go in there. Push, push, push. Oh. Okay. You I know what Doctor wants. Which That's one of these do you be... want to do? Push, push, push. Push it. <laughs> okay, push, pushing the ears. Yeah. Who wants to push the ears? I guess I'll, I'll help. <laughs> Sweet. Hey, let, let, let them cook. I'm though. not helping with gold for this, mm -hmm. though. I'm not helping yeah. at all. Yeah, that makes I sense. Mean, I mean, you could pay your mercenaries to uh, to do it for you. Oh, that's, that's true. So true. <laughs> that's a great idea. It. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can help without using stress in that case. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would do that. I start like just grabbing fistfuls of dirt and hurriedly turning it into gold, and then being like, "Quick, help us push <laughs> the ear over." There's no way to do it poorly. You go like, "Aye, aye, Captain." <laughs> With you don't need to point and convince if you have gold. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So yeah, you can... uh... it's a move. Sweet. All right, one extra. Let's do it. Oh, that's a six. Yeah. So I think uh, I. Th I think with a team of like 100 mercenaries at your back, as well as like your as well as like your other followers, you push the ears over into the chasm, and they fall, and they hit the bottom of the chasm, and they keep falling. They're just cutting through the ground infinitely. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> they disappear from sight. Who knows how deep down they go? Who knows how deep down this place even goes? Who knows if space is even the concept? All this and more raises incredibly alarming new questions in your mind as the ears disappear from sight and possibly never to be seen again. They can't ever be upright again. Well. Yeah. Yeah, it's just gonna keep falling. It can cut That's through anything, including tragic. the earth. <laughs> Bye! But yeah. I think a lot of I think a lot of demons and other people gather to like watch this happen with like a sort of uh, with like a sort of religious awe, which means that uh, including the tree man who's now looking in your direction. I I give the tree man a hang loose sign. I wave. Have I have I just caused a miracle? Am I <laughs> am I gonna be a saint now? <laughs> you gotta die to be a to saint. <laughs> I mean, eventually looks I will. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I got my sainthood. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think you see the tree men regarding all, uh, <laughs> all of you with like a, with like a, you know, with like a very kindly expression. I'm just got to remember to go into this, tree. not judging the tree man. Based on his earlier students, um, yeah. 
Yeah, a lot of the guys oh, yeah. dancing over there. Just like uh, just like people climbing in there. There, uh, there appears to be a table in there. People drinking and partying and stuff like that. Uh, which seems like a surprisingly genteel sort of party, given the, <laughs> given the vibes of the rest of this place. Mm-hmm. Let's join the party. No, we gotta exit. Oh, there's, a, there's another nun in, nun in there. Oh, there's another nun in there. Oh, there. Shit. You see another nun in there, Narcissus. <laughs> you have a sister. Yo, hold on. The sister looks down from the tree man and you as well. Dominance. She gives you a hang loose. <laughs> <laughs> the sister from the tree man looks, uh, looks and sees you and like waves her arms and goes like, Yo! What's up? Sisters of God! Sisters of God! What are you doing in the tree man? Benedict Benedictine Order representing! Yo! <laughs> I don't I'm know. I'm hanging out up here. It's phone. cool in here. Yeah, but like what's it what's in what hey, what's up with the future? Oh, the future is uh, not great. Yeah. Someone said this was the best one. Yeah, this, yeah, that should tell you about what the other ones are like. Yeah, but now they're in a forever hole. So what do they know? Is That's God dead? True. Yeah, I'd like to think not. That would yeah, no, God's well for not my, dead. We that would this. bode poorly for my career prospects. Can and we why come up? Can fix this? Sure, ladder's right there. Maybe God intends for us to suffer. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, you know. God I can do that. suffering. The suffering is important, because the suffering, you know, all leads to something. I'm gonna <laughs> climb up behind this moth crow and flirt with it the whole way. Anyway. Do it. Uh... <laughs> the flirt with who? Bro? The, the moth oh, crow. You know? shit! <laughs> On the ladder. <laughs> yeah, the moth crow looks to you and goes like, "Ooh, is that a?" Let me just look at your inventory. <laughs> Did we walk in into like a little kink party over here? Is that a compass? You get? is that a compass? You is that got? A compass? Or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> what does it the compass too, say? Oh yeah, does the compass? <laughs> Uh, I think it's the compass. Death, I said I God it, kingship and something, tree man. Yeah. Well, that would also that's also pointing at the moth crow and saying hubba hubba on him. <laughs> this is probably some sort of trespass. You don't know what well, you don't know what it means. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah, Let's, that's kind of lost. um. Uh, what I is happening? You, uh... Yeah. Um. Good question. Left of the ladder. <laughs> What's happening left of the ladder? Good question. That was there's the king like... party I was talking about. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a lot of people dressed in blue just kind of hanging out over there, and there's a there seems to be something between like uh... yeah, honestly, something between a king party and the vivisection going on over there. <laughs> that, uh, yeah. Yeah, kind of real crimes of the future. Vibes. Oh, it's true, <laughs> literally. <laughs> okay. Uh, hmm. <laughs> you're kind What's of uh, you're kind of emotionally dead into it by now. Yeah. And maybe that's the maybe that's the saddest thing of all. You know, despite the nudity, not many penises in this painting. Yeah. Lots of yeah. asses, though. Yes. Yeah. Hold on. Importantly. There's like tons of dicks over in the party yeah, there's, zone. There's They're just all really here. tiny. <laughs> yeah, that's true. There's more butts than dicks, though. Oh, that's still true, yeah. probably. That's just true, like, proportionally in the world. <laughs> oh, <laughs> of course, of course. Yeah. Anyway. You contemplate these truths. <laughs> <laughs> Up the ladder? And you, wonder, huh? and you wonder, how has it come to this? 
as you ascend the ladder up into the interior bowels of the tree, man. It's not the bowels, it's the chest cavity. Oh, yeah, that's true. In the know. interior chest cavity of the tree, man. Who are we to know their anatomy? Anyway, yeah, there's this... Uh, there's I this mean, of all, the, of all the butts on display, he explicitly doesn't have one. Yeah. Damn. Mm-hmm. He is truly assless in this world. <laughs> yeah, this man has Damn. no ass. <laughs> there's another knife! Whatsoever. There is another knife. There's quite a lot of knives, actually. Wait, hold on. Where's the other knife? Oh, shit! Second knife. Clearly not as sharp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, now that you said that. I think the nun looks to you and says, it's a pretty sharp knife. Okay, sorry. I don't know, it's got, like, guys on it, so it can't mm-hmm. be that sharp. Mm. It's no, not falling just, infinitely they're, they're just into... Professionals. Oh, sorry. Yeah. That makes sense. Um... Hey, sister. Yeah? Why aren't you trying to leave? Well, I used to be like you at, the, at one time. And and then? And then, well, I came to the future, and it's kind of, uh, you know, it's not great, but I feel like I could uh, I could keep living here. The tree man's nice. You know, if you know, he'll, he can answer your questions if you want. You just need to ask him. Hey, tree man! It sounds a little blasphemous. <laughs> the, tree, the tree man responds, Yes! Um. What's your name? My name is Henry. Hi, Thank Henry. you for asking. For your courtesy, I will answer you questions three. Shit, what question should we ask? Probably ask how to leave. How to get out. That's number one, yeah. I think. Is God dead? Oh no. my god. Mm. <laughs> mm. Well, I hate to tell you this, but yes. Fuck. Dumb. But also, this is, not, uh, oh. this is not as despairing a set of circumstances as you may imagine. God being dead leaves you to make your own meaning of the world, which could be good or could be bad, depending on how much it's uh, how much it's uh, vital to your uh, vital to your sense of self. Even so, just because God is dead doesn't mean you should stop believing in Him. Seriously, writing two questions <laughs> down, it's like, uh, how do we leave? Uh, how did this future happen? <laughs> just like showing it. You, you. Ah, Fabian. two questions. One. I've shown it to Fabian to ask or not. <laughs> um, how do we leave? Oh, you go up that sharp knife over there into that uh, in that lovely little chamber. The one full of people. Yeah, well, they're trying to leave. Why aren't they're they just waiting for other people to come along so you can all leave together? We can't leave yet. We're so close to the butt music. It's right below us. That is true. The butt music is a vital landmark. There's a hurdy gurdy down there. Henry, I don't think that's true. I don't think the thing you said is true. Henry wouldn't lie to us. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, I am borderline omn- omniscient. It's a terrible curse. Oh, that sucks. Hey, what's happening to my body? Oh, you are becoming aligned with the follower. Oh, who's that? The what? You are changing into something terrible and unrecognizable. Oh, could that that could be good though, right? Depends on how you feel about it. You are uh, you will become monstrous to your friends and everybody else. And uh, honestly, honestly, I'm honestly I'm about to I was about to say that there's going to be an upside, but honestly, there isn't. You will just be uh, you'll just be permanently different with no real way back. Oh, is that what happened to Patrick? Oh yes. 
that's that's quite a few questions, but I figure I should allow you follow ups. <laughs> oh, thank hmm. you. That's very generous of you. I think so. You're almost at the end of your journey. So you might as well find something out. Learn something. All right, anything else? Well, might as well party. <laughs> you know, that really is that really gives me hope for the future. They're having an amazing party down the uh, down below. They're having the they have music in there. They have uh, they have horns. They have uh, there's some people being eaten over there. Yeah, honestly, this song kind of this song kind of hits, you know. Yeah, it's a killer song. The fu if there's one thing people love about the future, it's all the music. There's more music than there's ever been before. Yeah, it, I don't know. There's music. something about the music though. It, it makes me think that like. Was this written on a butt? <laughs> <laughs> a connoisseur, I see. Oh, I'm right, huh? Yes. All the best music is written on asses. Everybody knows this. Yeah, I can really hear the butt influence on the timbre. Mm -hmm. Timbre, the butt of instruments. <laughs> Right. It seems you're. Uh, right. It seems you're. It, it seems you're acclimating oh to the future. Look at this guy. This like weird raccoon demon that's like looking at a man's face. Oh my goodness! Room. I'm obsessed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, him screaming at the man is how the drum's going off. I mean, he's kicking uh -huh. out of yeah. fear. And the other man's yeah. doing the ass flute right in his fucking face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Exactly. There's a lot of. Uh... People here know how to party. That's another oh, bonus side of the future. What is this guy? <laughs> He's blowing the horn, obviously. He's like blowing the horn. The trumpet. He's like a Martian. <laughs> wow. He's just blowing real hard. A moment to admire. Oh, the butt music is in this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I? That was the whole reason I did that bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just, I just remember seeing it from the like launch screen of the Roll Twenty. Uh, mm -hmm. I'd like to draw our attention to, on top of Henry's head, there is this pink thing. Yeah. Right next the to it, intersecting pipes? with our circle, the bagpipes is a very small flag of uh -huh. the oh, bagpipes. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Thank you all for uh, letting your attention be drawn to that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's the territory of bagpipes, as, as identifiable by <laughs> yeah. the bagpipes, as well as the flag of the bagpipes. Mm -hmm. I don't see what's so complicated about that. Nothing. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure we were all aware. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, people don't know the oh, yeah. bagpipes flag. Good on you, sister. <laughs> um... I want to go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But. Henry. You want to go to the butt? Okay. <laughs> no. Yes. Don't we all? Henry, I, Sister. I simply feel like this is not actually the way out. Well, in a sense, you are correct. The. The the way you can take out of here will lead you to a different uh, to a different sort of place, perhaps a day of judgment, perhaps a different sort of garden. It will be a different place. It will, unfortunately, the state of the world as it is now. It cannot go back to the way things were. You can continue the chase, or you can join the party of the future and simply let the good times roll. I would not deny you the privilege of a cosmic struggle. But honestly, all of us could use one. But if you want to, but if you want to rest here, the follower will eventually find you, as it will find me. When it consumes this worldscape, I will go with it. And you know, I wouldn't mind some company if you don't mind staying. You, you've got a lot I'm of company. Sort of invested in not being absorbed by stuff. <laughs> Um. Well, you wouldn't be you wouldn't be absorbed, strictly speaking. It's more that uh, it's more that things would change around here. I think I'm not explaining it very well. 
The trick of it is, is that the follower will come and, uh, well, the garden as you know it will, will now, will cease to exist. That is that a good thing? Sounds... It's a different thing. What hmm. if we don't want it to change? Well, then you better keep on going to the, uh, keep on going. But then isn't that still change? I suppose, yes. Well, at least we don't have the church or the state like stepping on our throats anymore. We can be oh, free. Oh, I'm the church. I'm stepping, well, I'm not stepping on your throat. You know what I mean. Well, there will be churches and states. It's, uh, change is sometimes slow. Perhaps you can find a new one, sister. Or perhaps your old one. I'm sure Catholicism can pull through this somehow. Some sort of counter-reformation or something. Start a church for Patrick. Hmm. I don't want to do that. I don't know Patrick that seemed church. like kind of an asshole. <laughs> yes, he's not. He he wasn't a great man in his time. Uh, I'm afraid. He was a bugadillo. Well, he only became that after he came here. Before that, he was uh, more of an asshole, is the way I would describe him. Hmm. Okay. Well, shall we keep moving? Yeah. Well, yeah. shall we head south? Downsies? Downsies? Well. We said it at the same time. <laughs> I mean, we could leave. We could leave. But. Leaving seems like it's like existential destruction or something. I don't know if I'm down for that. Well, I'd rather be existentially destroyed thought... than be destroyed by something called the follower, which sounds bad. Well, destruction is just a point of view. No, mm -hmm. that's not true. Destruction is destruction. It's 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 the absence of a point of view. Didn't God like destroy everything and start again though? Yeah, but God did that. The follower is going to destroy everything, and that's like frankly, cringe. <laughs> it is pretty cringe, it's true. Yeah, okay. But, I don't know, it's, it's it's different if God does it, like... God's allowed to. Why, though? Yeah, God's allowed. I mean, the difference is that, um, is that it's hard to articulate. Well, take your time. You just said we don't have a lot of time. It's the follower clock. Doesn't mean you can't take it. What's what's stopping us from becoming gods? And I try to craft a little person out of wood. Probably the follower. <laughs> the little person, little person takes uh, takes shape in your hands and starts screaming, "Why? Why? Why <laughs> that's now?" What? That's take, that's take the stress. reason. <laughs> <laughs> Why now of all times? <laughs> To give us perspective. Thank you, my child. Put it in the <laughs> elevator. Let it, let, it, let it escape. <laughs> let me escape, please. Take me you out have, of this place. You you have free will, my child. I put put the little person on the ground. The little person like starts just crawling along the ground, goes to like uh I think you I think you see it disappear into the darkness. It doesn't seem to know where it's going really. <laughs> As the circle of life continues. I guess I would rather keep moving than succumb like our good friend here. Yeah. Let's join this party. I'm... This this music's kicking. It's much better to outrun danger than facing it. So I'm on team. Let's go. That just leaves you, Alchemist. Will you stay or will you go? 
If you stay, uh, there will be trouble. But if you go, there might be double. I think I'll go. Wonderful. Well, then I suppose you have to. I suppose you have to head over to the knife. Will you be uh, Saint Ziggy? Will you be? Uh, will you be following your friends, giving them a farewell? I'll see them off, but I'm probably gonna. I'm probably gonna chill here. That is very cool that of sounds... you. Hey, you know the the church wasn't very happy with me in the other realm. I think I'm safe here. Yes, until the follower comes. It's fine. Yes, for you, it couldn't get much worse. They crucified you in the old world. Yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to see those motherfuckers again. Exactly. Many, many people here feel the same way. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a cool party over there. I think you. And I think, with that in mind, you kind of head over to the to the edge of the knife, where like there's a sliced sausage where a few alligator looking dudes are eating a knight yeah. balancing on the edge yeah. of, bouncing on the edge of the night it looks like they're having <laughs> yes. a hell of a party over there that's that's the way y'all want to go okay okay you know what uh, but we... i'm the weird one for wanting to stay <laughs> i've never been fan of butt rock what if we also be dogs yeah. <laughs> you say that just as i was like trying to like fashion a trumpet to my butt <laughs> <laughs> it's fine if it works for you <laughs> could could we jump from his head henry's head mm -hmm. to this how far away is that maybe i don't think you could but <laughs> but there is one but, but... i thought it was the richard <laughs> but you do have a fish surfboard that's so true surfboard that's so true. Um, Are we about these know. dogs? Are we just gonna slide off and hope we get past them? Maybe we could pay them. You could ramp over them, basically. You could mm -hmm. use the yeah. bagpipe to give you a boost. Mm, sure, true. Um, hey, what do the followers want to do? I think the followers would like to go. Uh, would like. I think. I think the followers are kind of. Uh. uh... I think the followers are on the fence. One of you will have to convince them one way or the other. I mean, is there the 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 path of Ziggy and the path of Narcissa in the rest? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think by default they're going to split about fifty fifty. Mm -hmm. Okay, with that, I don't know mm -hmm. about the rest of uh, <laughs> the rest of team leaving. It's fine. Um, I don't know how much of how many of us are gonna be able to cross on this fish, so I'm gonna start making a rope out of my tools of the trade because climbing into buildings to steal stuff. Oh, holy shit! You're trade. making a zip line. Yeah, <laughs> it's You'd the be only a option. I think we have invented <laughs> zip lines. You invented Wait, can... the zip line. <laughs> can uh, can I help? When I hope so. The zip <laughs> line roll with one. invented. <laughs> <Can> I... <laughs> I think the fish surfboard will help because it's lucky. Uh, so yeah, I was about to say like, can I help by like you know fashioning the fish surfboard to like the bottom of it? Yeah. Mm, yeah, you're helping. be super you're helpful, helpful actually. That. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna strike through fish surfboard. Yeah, you get plus one die from that. You get plus, you get one die by default. You can push yourself. No. Yeah, let's do it. It's fine. That puts you at three dice. Okay. Yep. I have to spend a stress when I help. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Oh. No. Ah. No. Oh. Okay, I know what happens. Fuck. Oh no. <laughs> Uh yeah, for the audience at home. By the way, that is three. three. Is One, three? Three. One, three. Yeah, I think you zip line over the. Uh, I think you zip line over the gap, and there's like, and a couple of the dogs look up, and this is like the sickest thing they've ever seen. <laughs> And the dogs all howl as one as you uh, land in front of the little chamber, and they think, oh, like 
you and like 20 something of your followers get in there and the uh, and the chamber closes oh no uh oh and so ziggy you and you and the rest of the followers what do you do afterward <laughs> oh i'm i'm joining the band yeah do the rest of you us get in there? Gonna... yeah all of you got all, <laughs> all of the rest of them got in there the ones who didn't stay with Ziggy. And yeah, there is a, I think you go down the uh, I think you go down the ladder and over to where like the music is playing and they are they are fucking wilding out over there. Oh yeah. I I jump in, I start playing my butt my butt trumpet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they got a butt trumpet already for you there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You have like uh, I think a lot of the followers join. Like, I think a lot of your followers join in there, and they think you get together and uh, and they think you get together and start playing out the uh, start playing out at last like this uh, like the ending of this worldscape. We play the like credits music. Yeah, I think you start playing the credits music, and we see like uh, and we see like a you know written in beautiful medieval like fracture script like all the uh all the people who have been like uh, who are all the people all the extras all the demons everybody like credited with their with the names of the people playing them or inspiring them or something like that and then there's like uh we get like we got like the full lost rendition of the hieronymus uh boats <laughs> but music <laughs> with like additional orchestration that kind of vibe mm-hmm it's like an epic swelling theme. That, it's like uh, how the... you know, you know, you know, like the thong song by Cisco. Yeah, yeah. How, like the last chorus, there's suddenly like a string section and stuff like that, and he's like screaming his heart out about thongs. It's like, it's kind of yeah. like that. It's a lot like that, yeah. I think there was like, and I think as you keep doing this, the entire, the entire worldscape seems to like flatten and then expand into unforeseen dimensions as it all starts to come apart and. Uh... In glorious harmony with like with like all of this music until until sound itself ceases to be a concept and there's uh, and you or at least sound and music become indistinguishable as the entirety of creation just collapses around you. Great and the credits end, silence ensues, and we open underneath an underneath a tree that might you know, might you know be covered in oranges or maybe in human eyes or maybe in the eggs of birds do over here as three people wake up beneath an orange tree yeah tragic y'all took <laughs> no memory of how path. they got there y'all took the wrong path <laughs> join me in annihilation <laughs> <laughs> uh... the the faint strings of faraway butt music still resounding in their uh, <laughs> still resounding in their ears. Some terrible oh. inspiration, some terrible insight that they've missed. Hmm. Some of them have clothes. All of them seem to have their original clothes back, so it's just that you know, they just wake back up here and uh, wake up, and you know, they start noticing things about each other, things that they yeah. are, things that they used to be. You can go meet that freak who like owns children again. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we can go up this time. We're gonna do it right this time. We're gonna learn the words of power. Oh, yeah, because uh, uh, God is uppies. God is uppies. Yeah. Yeah. It's the only thing we remember. <laughs> yeah, I think. I mean, I do know the secret of life and death, so. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow, as a nun, you learn the secret of life and death, and you cut and you carried it into this garden. I have the world's <laughs> tiniest book. Yeah. <laughs> you wonder how you got it. You can't exactly remember. Yeah. But yeah, you wake up and you wonder what to make of all this. You've changed the worldscape, so I'm gonna roll one d six. Three. So I'm gonna take off three ticks from the follower clock. Mm. <laughs> Yay! And it all goes around again, but that is beyond the scope of this stream. Damn. Thank you, everybody. This was Hieronymus. I think there's like uh, the the last shot is there's like a little freak in a corner somewhere that's like a like a three headed bird or some shit, and they give up a little uh, hang loose sign. Yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> How many eyes do they have? You see, like a... 
Uh, less than you'd think. Okay. <laughs> oh, I was implying that Ziggy became one of the like fucked up little guys. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Or like you might have lost the, eyes. In the... the spirit of yeah. the spirit of Ziggy that has been put back into the primordial ether, and then as the world was created again, there was a small reflection of them. Mm-hmm. Hanging mm-hmm. fucking loose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that's I think that's the take home message from all this. First of all, hang loose. Second of all, donate for med <laughs> donate to medical aid for Palestinians. <laughs> Yeah. First of all, primary (laughs) chief among these things, please donate. Um, It's going to a really good cause. Um, And, you know, every dollar you spend is is a huge amount of help and change out there, you know? In these last few moments, we should, like, point out some, like, freaky guys that we didn't get to see. Oh. (laughs) What's your favorite freaky guy in here? Yeah. There's so many. I really wanted us to, I was trying to angle us to go down towards, if uh, all the way back in the bottom right, uh, the bird man who's eating someone and yes. shitting into a hole. Yeah. He's shitting two guys into a hole that someone is simultaneously vomiting into and someone else is also shitting into. Also, there's like faces really... in the shithole. And there's faces down there. I really wanted to yeah. go there. That's a real that's a real centerpiece. Maybe next time. And some guy yeah. Yeah, in the like green bubble. <laughs> An astronaut of some sort. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I also it's like even painting. further down from that the like mole nun, hedgehog nun, pig nun. It's a pig. Mm-hmm. I got there. It's a pig. It's a pig. <laughs> But yeah, I think I think at this point we should start uh, mosing on out because in five minutes yeah. we got uh, we got a beautiful game of I believe Dread. Yeah. Oh yeah. Featuring uh, featuring TTRPG Luminary and uh, and fellow Latvian Halcyon. <laughs> That's right. We own the night, or at least you know <laughs> this particular night. This night. <laughs> It's Europeans and people on specific standard time. <laughs> and yeah. Australians. So it is 1 a.m. now. It is 1 a.m. here now. Glorious. Not that the, I don't Sweet know if there dreams, are Australians everyone. there, but... Yeah. Okay. There could be Australians, yeah. Have a, have a good time of day. Happy time have zone. Have a great time of day. Yeah. I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> Happy time zones. Happy birthday from me. Happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. That won't apply to most of you, but if you're catching the VOD or something like that, it could be your birthday. You never know. True. <laughs> I'll take us. If out. there's one takeaway from uh, from the works of Hieronymus Bose, it's that uh, you truly never do know. <laughs>